let's go.
two, one. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. How? How? Dude, I feel bad. What's good, Turtle Squad? It's your boy. I'm gonna fucking lose my mind, are you kidding me? I don't understand this goddamn game, I don't get it. Oh, baby! Time playing chess. Oh! He has to move his crown man. Whoa, whoa, you can do that? I can't move your crown man like that. Holy shit. Oh, that is relieving. I saw the stalemate. I really saw the stalemate, and I was like, uh oh, this could be bad. Welcome back, everyone, to our coverage of Pog Champs 5, your favorite creators, favorite creators chess tournament or something like that. Uh, we've had a wonderful uh, few days of me being away from the commentary booth, but now, unfortunately, uh, they have replaced a wonderful person with myself. I'm Levi Rosman, and I am joined today by the second most famous Swedish individual on the planet uh, behind, of course, the ABBA music group, and that is Anna Kramling. Anna, how are you? I'm doing great, Lavi, but I'm really not the second most famous person in Sweden. Do you even know anything about Sweden? Swedish, Swedish house mafia? Uh, uh... We got Slatan, we got Ikea, we got, we got so many things, Lavi. I mean, we have so oh, many yeah, great yeah. artists that are PewDiePie. from Sweden. PewDiePie. PewDiePie. Exactly, you oh. should know this. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm sticking with that introduction. Um, the most famous chess player to have ever come out of Sweden? Uh, mo top five? Top ten? I, I guess, but I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> oh, that's true. Wow, this is uh, this is uh, this is off to a fun start. Uh, so I'm going to put a big graphic on the screen now to remind everybody why we're here. Um, uh, this is also. Uh, a very fun time, of course, because we are officially in the knockout stages of Pot Champs. So we started with 16 players. 
uh, and we will remain with 16 players because we have both a champions and a consolation bracket. Uh, the big one on the screen right now, the championship bracket, top left, you have A and B. Uh, A1 plays B2, so the winner of Group A plays the runner-up of Group B, and so on. XQC, Papa Plata down there, and then we have I Did A Thing, Tyler One. Those are Groups C and D. Anna, of course, surviving the crazy commentary uh, that had to happen between uh, XQC and Tyler One. Yeah, how did you survive, by the way? Because even watching it, I was scared. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know myself. I was very nervous for that interview, um, but I just realized that we just got to let the players just let their anger out, you know? There was nothing me and Andrea could do to stop it. They had to scream at each other, and that's what we got, and it was amazing. So I knew I just had to stay quiet and just look at Andrea and just, just, just pray, to be honest. <laughs> I really hope one day that if any top players play a match, they just do that. We just let them have the mics and we just go at it like Nate Diaz, Jake Paul press conference. They throw water bottles at each other. Uh, they talk trash. They talk trash about everybody else. They talk about cleaning pools. Uh, it's going to be a great time. And they might play each other, as you saw there in the bracket. Now, let's put up the uh, consolation bracket. Uh, we have not forgotten about these players. This is the, uh, well, they call it the loser's bracket. They are, they are losers on the chessboard, but definitely not in life. They are fantastic, wonderful creators and individuals on their own. Uh, and uh, top left, of course, we have A versus B. Bottom left, we have uh, C versus D. Some of these players had a very rough go round uh, in the group stage. That's just how it goes sometimes. Daily Dose of Internet, unable to even get on the board, but he is easily a number two or number three favorite in the constellation bracket. Anna, let me just ask you, is... Uh, is virtual the one that you're looking forward to the most? Because everybody was terrified of him, and somehow the other contenders in Group B managed to deal with him. It was very close, but... Can they I did. just say something? He was in Group B, okay? They put him in the hardest group out here. There are other groups that were much easier, and yes, I've been coaching virtual, and, and yes, he got put, in my opinion, in the most difficult group. So I think, honestly, that everyone in that group is strong. I mean, Daily Dose ended up being the person with the least points, but he's still a very strong contender in the Constellation bracket. So we might get a Group B winner as the winner of the Constellation bracket. We don't know. Sorry, that, that, that wasn't me yawning. That was me doing a copium emote uh, live on... Uh, that, that just copium? Like I, yeah, I, I'm sorry. Uh, you that said just... this yourself, Levy. I heard you saying it in all their commentary matches. You were saying I, Group B is the most difficult group. I know I was, you said I it. Was, I was. The only person that is happy in Group B is Gasly. Okay, and we will talk about Gasly because he's actually our third matchup of the day today. His rating was like 600 in this, in this group, and he won the group. He was the lowest rated... I think very close with Daily Dose and he managed to win. So yes, he's underrated. I, I, he's underrated and I, and everybody was terrified of virtual. Uh, and you know what else everybody should be terrified of? No, this is a very t bad transition. But the live final of Punk Champs 5 is going to be in beautiful, sunny, totally not polluted and not gridlock traffic Los Angeles, where the players are going to enjoy the, co the consolation and the championship bracket finals. Uh, participants are going to enjoy a wonderful, Time in Los Angeles. I, I mean, I that's not. I, I don't actually. It, it might be a terrible time, but there's going to be great weather, and for the first time, it's going to be live. Uh, exciting, right? That's we've never had very that exciting. before. Very exciting. Are you going there, Levy? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Ludwig's team hasn't booked my plane ticket yet. Uh, can y'all book my plane ticket? And in the meantime, <laughs> let's talk about. I don't know. I don't. Maybe I'm going. Maybe I'll get fired. I, I, I really. I don't know. That's the thing when you work with Lud. It, it's it, it's it, you never know. Uh, Love you, love you, Lud. Um, today's matches, um, Squeaks versus Foosley. That's the Constellation quarterfinals. Uh, and uh, then the next Constellation quarterfinals matchup we have for you is Jarvis versus Daily Dose of Internet. That's going to be very, very fun. And then our main event of the evening, the third match, is Gastly versus Frank. That's a big one. That's our very first knockout matchup in the championship quarterfinal. Uh, group A versus Group B. Frank, the higher rated player, but actually the lower seed because he had Sea Dog in his group. Uh, I really missed a lot with Foosley, didn't I? When I when I was gone, that matchup was insane. She did get on the board. She had one point after the group stage, Anna. Would you, would you like to uh, tell um, tell me because I wasn't exactly there? What, what did it feel like to watch history unfold? 
To be honest, I wasn't actually uh, doing commentary then. I think it was Andrea and, and Danny, if I remember. But I was watching it in my watch party. And let me tell you, Lavi, it was so stressful. I have not seen this amount of stalemates in one Puck Champs match. Two stalemates in a row when I thought it was impossible for another stalemate. It happened, but Cutie was able to win in the tie breaks. But uh, Fusli was able to take it to tie breaks and therefore get one point. Yeah. I've never seen two stalemates in back-to-back -back games. I mean, Cutie impresses me all the time. And this was just yet another example. Uh, so Fusli did get on the board, but that's a very tough group. Uh, and she is our first matchup of the day. Let's take a look at that matchup. We're going to start with Squeaks. Uh, Squeaks had a had a tough group with Tyler1 in XQC. He's a uh, Twitch streamer. He's a uh, speedrun streamer. And he was actually the 2023 spe best speedrun streamer uh, nominee at the Streamer Awards, where Anna and I both were. Uh, yep. Great venue, by the way. Organized by a person playing in this event. Just fantastic, right? Just amazing, amazing. stuff. Amazing. And Squeaks also was uh, the 167th fastest Mario 60. They got it. That's just such a mean, like, can you imagine, like, 167 in the World Grandmaster? There he is. Maybe it's really good, Levy. I mean, I think it must be really good. Imagine being the 167th best chess player in the world. This is this is so tongue-in-cheek of them, but, can, like, they really couldn't have found a nice third arrow to just t talk about. Like, for example, let, let's go to the Foosley player card, all right? Look at Foosley's player card. She's glowing. The edges of her hair are purple. Streamer, <laughs> YouTuber, content creator for 100 Thieves. She's got over 10 million streams on platforms. She's a musician. This is her second Pac Champs appearance. She's an OG. She played in the very first one. She gave Chess a shot before any of you bozos in chat gave Chess a shot. She was an early adopter. She was probably playing Chess Anna before you were even streaming full time, right? Like, I feel like this was early 2020. This was before we had Anna Kramling uh, all the time. And uh, yeah. this is her starting soon screen. So um, I really like is, it. Is that accurate? I feel like you went totally full time sometime 2020. Or maybe that's I, I don't know. It's been a long three years. But she's been she's been playing chess forever. She's played chess for a very long time, and that is true, Levia. I actually started streaming full-time around, like, 2020, so it's crazy. She's played online chess almost longer than me because I wasn't playing so much online chess back then. So she is an OG, and I am so excited about this matchup against Squeaks. Like, I really don't know what's going to happen, but there's going to be chaos, Levia. That's all I know. It's going to be great. Let's remind everybody what that format is they play two games well they don't have to i suppose one of them could just forfeit after one they play two rapid games it's a best of two so if it's one to one they play a blitz playoff the winner of the best of two moves on and they should add probably one more uh, small thing here this is officially the first time that the loser of a match is gone we never speak to them again and we delete their chess.com <laughs> account when their match is oh, over no. yes one of those things is not true Maybe, actually. It depends on how bad their game is. Uh, this is a knockout. We have officially entered the knockout stage. And this is coinciding with one of the biggest knockout chess tournaments of the year, which is called the World Cup. So there are two massive tournaments going on, one in which 2,800 and 2,700 players are playing for the ultimate glory, and this one, which is watched by thousands of more people because the games are more relatable and they are played by your favorite streamers and commentated as well. And I'm excited. Uh, this is going to be great. And this is better than the World Cup. I I feel bad saying this as a, as a chess player, but I haven't really watched a lot of the World Cup, but I've watched a lot of Pog Champs, and I'm very excited for this. Yes, E4, a Karo Khan defense from Foosley. Amazing. I don't know who her coach is, but uh, they're, they're a good coach, and I'm not saying that like as if I am uh, secretly coaching her or anything. Her? But you no, are coaching but her. I, I'm not coaching. I mean, my videos might be coaching her, but you know, I don't want to take the credit. The Karakon defense, very nice opening. The problem with it is if you're a beginner and your opponent doesn't actually play into anything specific, you'll play like e6 and then you'll block in your bishop or knight f6, which is what a lot of beginners play here. Um, so we'll see what she does. Yeah, I'm actually not <laughs> super. I, I, ooh, e6. <laughs> Yes, I, I, I called it, right? Like, it, it, you know, her bishop is blocked, but she's posi position is still totally fine, right? Yeah, I mean, it's very solid. Always when you see this little pyramid of, of pawns uh, defending each other, it feels very solid and it feels like nothing wrong can happen in the beginning. But what is wrong, I guess, it's that her bishop is going to get stuck, but I'm sure she'll be able to get it out. She's going to be totally okay, because I think a lot of beginners don't even exactly know how to exploit this. Like, we see bishop d3, right? That's not the most accurate move, but he played it because... 
He, he couldn't put the bishop anywhere else. Good for her. She's going to move her knight. She's going to castle. He'll probably castle or he'll play a3. Uh, wow. Oof. Wow. Okay, no. Is she going to take or is she going to keep the bishop knowing that it's better than the knight? Uh, we I thought she was going to take. No, she she kept it. Yeah, she kept it. I wanted to pop in on, the, on her stream just to see her thought process, but she played it pretty quickly and she'll probably go here and here as well. So we don't have to pop in yet. Uh, we could see... Yo, this is awesome. Consolation bracket, stand up. Damn, this is, oh, they're better than half the chat. Look at this. It's amazing this stuff. I can't believe it. I mean, what is going on? What is this opening? It's so solid. This could literally be a much higher level game than what we're seeing. Yeah, this uh, th this is going to get played at the World Cup tomorrow. A little Bishop D3, Knight C3, mm -hmm. knight, knight F3, Karo Khan. Let's go. And now Levy uh, E5 and get the Bishop pointing towards the King. Yes. The king. Yes, the squeaks know that. That is the best move, and then you secure that, and you know, you'd know you love to kangaroo this pawn. White would be much, much better if they had the center and the space. Um, <gasps> He's doing it! <laughs> squeaks wow. became a grandmaster! <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, does she know that she should not wander to the edge of the board? Because frequently, if the knight has no way back, it could get trapped. Or it could get traded off and the structure will be damaged. Oh, she's throwing a haymaker, but it's it, it's it's mistimed. Oh, it's a capture chain. Pawn takes, pawn takes, pawn takes G7. Yeah, it's very common. I feel like whenever someone is attacking you to want to attack your opponent, you want to keep on attacking, but sometimes you just got to move the piece, just got to defend it. I I, I think we're going to pop in on, on Foos. Is that, is that the plan right now? We'll see what she's thinking. She's... Let's do it. She seems to be uh, quite ha happy with her position. Yeah, she looks pretty happy, to be honest. I mean, she's like kind of smiling and kind of moving her head around. She's singing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if we were going to get audio on her, but I, really I don't hear you. Um, I have an idea. Okay. No. Never well, mind. What if I did this? So so look, I fly, what if I push my queen here, right? And then... So say my pawn eats it. Then I go in with a spicy boom, right? And then... Ooh, spicy boom? No, okay, of course. And but okay, spicy boom, queen, yes. He can't because my queen's behind it. And then what if he eats... I get going for spicy boom stone. We should all be. Rook, and then I eat his rook. Shoot. I don't know. Trying to make it work, it make no mistake, it does not work whatsoever. But that's uh, you know that's chess. Like you have an idea, it's like an artist. Oh, you know, you you build idiot. something, it doesn't work, you got to rebuild it. That's just life. Mind. And by the way, uh, Squeaks, uh, we are on her stream what? right now. There it is. The move Whoa. has been made. Let's go back to the analysis board. Okay. Um, um, oh no, Foosley! Uh, in that time, he moved his knight out of the way, but she didn't. No. She, and she she just no. She lost no, her she knight. she forgot about it. That's the problem always with when you do uh, another attacking move instead of just defending your piece. It's so easy to forget about it at this level. Yeah, she she saw it. He moved it. And then she just she just castled. And that would have been a good move. But she should have moved her knight. And she's not even taking this pawn. What, she, what is going on? What? She wants to go for the spicy boom, Levy. She wants to push the pawns and get all pieces onto the attack. But... But the spicy boom was that. She's not even, she's just, she's literally running it down mid, by the way. Like, <laughs> she's running it down <laughs> mid. Now she takes, but her king is open, but Squeaks' oh. knight is hanging. He's going to go here and lose it? Is that what's about to happen? Can we pop in on the Squeaks stream? Let's see. I'm doing great. I think I'm in a great position. Okay, wait, that's good because the pawns are doubled up. I'm pretty sure I saw a video of Levy. <laughs> <laughs> saying that you want to hurt pawn structure. Uh, okay, wait, you Great go like, coach. now I'll go here. Yeah, but now, does he know his knight is hanging? That no! Man. No, that's not what I told you to do! Don't, don't, that's not what I said in my video! Don't lose the knight! No, Did you not really, play that move, damn it! It's really Your knight is hanging! You should have gone through keeping your pieces alive! Double or pawns are... Oh, here. thank god. Oh, thank god he didn't play that move. Oh, okay, okay alright, Squeaks, come on. Squeak. No, you don't! What the fuck? Really he stuff. did it! All I have to do is checkmate. What? That's it. It's so simple. 
It's not simple! What do you mean it's simple? You just lost the knight! What are you There's talking about? Oh my, oh my but goodness! But Levy, Levy, Levy! The queen! Okay. The queen is coming up! Oh, Levy, God. queen h5! Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. Queen h5, she's gonna take the knight because she just took one knight and now queen h7 made. Oh my God. Yeah! And he's gonna check me! Go you still got this, Levy? Oh no. Oh God. Did you teach about checkmates? About that h7 checkmate in your video? Whereas Do you know? if I go here... Oh, yeah. Let's just save our knight for right now. <laughs> he didn't even put his queen there. This is a crazy move, but I'll do it. <laughs> well, at least he's seeing the square. <laughs> and he's putting oh, a knight oh, there. Oh, oh. Bring it back to the analysis board! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, Huge go developments! Boom. The stream is a bit behind! It, it, it's There's a mate! Squeaks has a mate! Oh, and he's oh, done it! It's over! It's over! What? It's over! What? Oh my goodness, can we get a live reaction of the checkmate? Now we're gonna go back to the stream. <laughs> Boom! Let's go! Let's fucking go, baby! Let's fucking go! Oh my goodness. Yes! Yes! Wow. Oh. Can I just say that I feel like he's really improved? Like, this game, he played very solidly, apart from forgetting about that one night, but still. I... You know what? It was all a worthy sacrifice. And, you know, we can even analyze it real quick. Because, uh, you know, we space our matches out by an hour, and that one took seven minutes. Um, it was very funny how he just did not... Not, literally none of my reaction was caught, by the way, because I was like ru running out of my chair. And meanwhile, you know, he, uh, he, he yeah, I, I was just yelling, but I, I was on the floor basically when he played this move because he gave a whole big analysis of playing this move when his knight was hanging. Uh, and then he went here, uh, which is definitely not good. Uh, and, and Anna pointed out queen here and queen here, not right away, obviously, because of this, but queen h5 would have been nice. And then, and then Foosley got played this, which some blunders are not like others. That one blocks the bishop. And just by looking for a check in this position and then another check, it, he just won the game. Uh, literally just boink and boink. And that's, yep. and that, that's all, Anna. That, that, that was the first game. <laughs> That was it. <laughs> that was the first game. But that was actually amazing. I mean, I really think that Squeaks played very well. He kept on doing a great attack. And it's sad that it was just that Fuzli, she wanted to do this development move. But unfortunately, it was one of the few moves that allowed this checkmate, to be honest. So, yeah. So, so it just happened. But big props to Squeaks for playing such a great game. He is lower rated. He is maybe a little bit the underdog this match. But he's showing that he has great power to win this. To win this. So we're going to see if he's able to get a draw or, or win this next game as well yeah i have no idea what to expect i basically realized that the first five or six moves of the game between these two players is going to be solid and sound and it's going to be based on good principles uh and the rest of it is the equivalent of like you know putting your shirt over your head and just trying to run just on a field and you know maybe you'll run into a fence maybe you'll trip maybe, maybe it'll be great and then you know you'll you'll have a great time so total chaos ensued uh she had, <laughs> she, she almost took a couple nights he went in with the queen attack yeah, Fuzli, you know, uh, it, it. I think she just has to, before she makes a move, she's just got to think, what is the most annoying thing my opponent can do? Like, how can they put me in maximum danger? And yeah, Anna, like, you and I have played many chess games, first of all against each other, and second of all against other people, and uh, some blunders are not like others. That blocked the bishop, yeah. and it's game over. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's one thing when you just do a, a little blunder, but this is a little bit of a bigger one. But I'm sure she's learned her lesson. She will know that she should never open up her king like that. She should never take uh, with the pawn and get her king to be all, all lonely like it was there. And uh, I'm happy that Squeaks was able to capitalize on your video, you know, and learning that the king was unsafe now that the pawn structure was like that and he went for the kill. I, I'm good. I'm not going to lie. We could watch the replay. I don't think he said a damn thing about the king being open, but I, you know, I might have misheard. He said double pawns are bad so he proceeded to undouble them I'm for sure his he knew. He's, his next move undoubled the pawns for his opponent and then lost the full piece so that's the thing about chess you don't actually have to know how to play it you just gotta think you know how to play it and that's the beautiful thing about it that's what we're doing we pretend to be good at this game meanwhile players who have played it for 30 years are currently in baku azerbaijan and they are playing it like on a very serious level and we're just all memeing around here we're all having a great time uh
Yeah, I feel like the, the better you think you are at the game, the worse you actually are. A hundred percent right. And the worse you think you are at the game, the... <laughs> is she pre-moving the opening? <laughs> Wait, what did she do? What, she did this the other day too, but I thought it was because she didn't know how to un-pre-move. <laughs> what is she doing? What, why is she pre-moving the opening? What's she doing? E5 winning the bishop? Could that happen? I mean... But she could like lose all her pieces because if he plays... Wait, yeah. bishop takes bishop. Bishop takes bishop from squeaks. Well, he doesn't know she's pre-moving. Oh my god. This is crazy. If you don't go bishop takes bishop? <laughs> one more chance. Okay, uh, okay. Now now I have to do some stuff. Okay, so let's see what he's done. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I mean, yeah. I feel like every time I... Okay, okay. Now I actually have to... Oh my god, okay. So now we're here. I can't okay. believe it worked. <laughs> okay, castle, castle. Okay, so... All right, do not see. move let's the knight see. to d2. That is the uh, typical final London move. You don't want to do it because she could take a bishop. Knight here. Okay, That's okay. It's a good move. Like that. And then... He takes with his bishop, I take. I kind of just like this. This is a, a, a nice, aggressive position. Does she know? Can you believe that that worked? I feel like she's watched a lot of Hikaru, maybe. She's watched a lot of chess videos, and she wanted to do what Hikaru does. I, Hikaru has never done that, so I don't know. <laughs> Not that, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what she was watching, but uh, by the way, uh, I, I wonder if she knows the next game plan, which is, of course, to get the queen out and then go for an attack. Uh, that was, oh, and, and he did, in fact, take. Had Squeaks played bishop takes bishop at literally any point, he would have won the bishop for free because she was pre-moving the opening. So by a miracle of God, uh, he takes it right as she stops pre-moving. And now the knight can come here, finish up the development, stop this. And squeak should not go here because pawn takes is a fork. But that's a very common mistake uh, players make. But the best move here is to take and then go back here and try to win this. But <laughs> let's let's see. Let's I. You want to play guess I'm the move? I'm not sure that's gonna happen. You wanna? Okay, I was gonna I, I was I was gonna say let's play guess the move here, but I think we're gonna. We're gonna go check in on Squeaks. What's Squeaks thinking about? We can do that after Levy. Or I take, she takes. I think that's a bad move. Then I take. He's take. looking at it. He's What's looking at Bishop me? takes. As long as he's not looking at Knight takes. Just don't take with the Knight. Oh, oh. I don't think that's a good move. <clears throat> I take, and then she goes here. I take here. Wow, she just got. Oh two, no, she, is he looking at night takes? She just got two moves in a row in his calculation. Oh, good move! Nice. <gasps> let's bring it back. Ooh, let's let's bring it that. back. I think that's a bad move. I, I should have thought. Um, the hard thing is when you're a beginner, every move you make that you don't know if it's like a winning move, you just assume it's a bad move. So, right, like, like he took and he goes, oh, that was a bad move. It's the best move, but it just mentally he's sitting going, you know, it's not a good move. This is fine. Um, and, and this is good for black because the bishop is sort of blocked. It was better for white to play bishop takes so that you could try to play f4 and create some sort of attack, but uh 94 is fine and i wonder what her next move is going to be that that's that's really what i wonder right like are we expecting f3 92 i feel like f3 is a very common move you see a knight that looks very dangerous up in your alley and you're kind of like okay i'm gonna push push the knight away i'm gonna go f3 kick it away and see where it goes and i feel like she's been trying to get a lot of space and stuff i can see her going f3 f3 makes sense it's a simple move. Also, of course, knight here. She might go queen b5. You just try to, like, make aggressive queen moves and attack things. That's a good move. Uh, Ooh, c4. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the idea. Well, I don't know. Does she see that? It, it Was that her idea? Can, can we see what she's thinking? She just played it on her stream. I think she streams on, on YouTube, so she's a bit delayed um, I'll just take on her alive. Okay. But maybe not. Maybe she's streaming Oh no, it does say YouTube forward slash. Oh. Wow, good move okay. from Squeaks, by the way. 
All right. This okay. is incredible, Levy. Can I just say, what is going on? This is like the highest rated, <laughs> highest level game I've seen in so long. Go here. Don't, no, no. Anna just complimented you. No! No, no I jinxed it! No! <gasps> fork! There's a fork! <laughs> just one step before queen b3 instead of queen a3. She complimented you, Foosley. <laughs> she said it's not. I'm never complimenting anyone again. Now he sees it. Oh. Oh, that's a yeah, that's a tough move, and, and and the worst part is you can't even win the knight. Like the knight is just it's trapped in the corner. But I also really worry. Oh, well, not. Right I worry she might like lose that. the queen. Do, do, do. No, no, don't move the knight. Yeah, I go like that then. No, like, no, gonna... no, no, put it down, put it down, put. No. Darn you, squeaks. No, no, don't, don't, don't. she really wants to move it. There's no way to get out of this, huh? Fusely, put the knight down. Oh my god, I'm forked. Oh, the, oh thank God. Oh, I just oh, saw oh, that. Oh, she realized. <gasps> no! Darn you! That was close, no. Levy. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait. There's got to be a way out of this. <sighs> Dude. Slide the queen up one square and just trap the knight. That's the only way. Okay, okay. At least I caught it. Um, Let me think about this, right? So say I move my queen. I have to move my queen. I don't want to lose my queen. So if I take, uh, if I take, uh, if I just go here, maybe. Say I go here. <laughs> okay, I go here. He goes here. All right, he's in the middle. Um, and that, that's it. I just lose a knight. That's okay. But maybe I can take a better position than this. Maybe. No, I don't do it. Here. But then his king just takes and I lose my queen either way. What if I were to push forward? What if I were to do something more aggressive what if i were to go somewhere where i could then take his piece afterward so if say he's in there i could go nah it's doomed i think i just have to i think oh my god <gasps> oh my god please please Fusley, put the piece down. there's gotta be Fusley. something i'm so Fusley. scared Fusley. 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 don't make it worse oh my god why is she moving the knife wow, no, so no, 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 no 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 Maybe he won't wow. see it. He's, he doesn't see it. He did. Oh, oh. oh he saw God, it. it's ogre. Of course he did. He's been playing so well. I meant, oh. Oh, God. Damn. Damn. Well, Lavi, I feel like this game is being pretty quick as well. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll have to. Just have to just have to sit and talk about the Twitch drops that we have for forty minutes or something. I mean that was <laughs> Foosley. What? It was going so well. C four was a good move, deflecting the pawn and and night before she had to keep her queen safe. She, she let the knight in. The good news is for those of you that are watching this, and Foosley, I don't know if she's gonna watch this back, the tape back. Um, it this Anna, this is all tactics like. All of this is just common knight and bishop and queen and, and forks and stuff like that. Mistakes like this go away. And this has very little to do with a person's actual abilities at anything and mostly just pattern recognition. And, and I think if Fusli really wanted to, she could grind hundreds of puzzles and, you know, just not get hit with forks. But no, I agree. I think that she's seeing c4 moves great deflection if she saw that the knight was hanging i mean all of that is great she just needs to grind a little bit more of puzzles and not hang her queen because i think it's actually been uh the queen that's been one of the the issues in previous matches as well oh uh, yeah yeah she it, it's tough for her i mean it's tough it's tough uh her pawn is getting taken and the thing is you know you could lose the rook for the two knights I think we're going to pop in on Squeaks, see how he's feeling uh, with his big advantage. Such calm music. Yeah, he's, he's a sleeper to win this Constellation Bracket. Oh, did she not take it? Oh, she Should didn't take his knife. Should we still try to be annoying? I mean, we can start trading. 
She didn't take his... Yeah, I did not realize that she did not. I just assumed. Yeah, uh, I, I think that's the one thing she she needs to work on if she wants to, you know, I uh, keep improving to really always remember when pieces are hanging like and puzzles. really do puzzles Since to, the rook to is learn still that. Alive, yeah. We have to find a way to check. I'm listening to squeaks. We're gonna... Surely I won't squander this. No, this is... This is a hanging pawn. I feel like this is just a good move. <sighs> wow. Right here. That was crazy right? vision it's to spot move. that. Mm. Queen d2 is the best move, I think, in the position. Because I'm going to start taking... I'm telling pawns. you, Squeaks became a Grandmaster overnight. This is a whole other level also than I've seen this. before on Squeaks. If I get my Rook involved... Oh, yeah. He's going to get the Rook involved. He sees it. He knows the Queen needs help. So he's going to bring his rook down the center line there, and he's going to team the rook and queen up on the second rank. And uh, short of a total disaster, I think he will win. I, I have a prediction, actually, but fusli has got to kind of play along and not... Oh, and, and let's just bring it back to the just analysis board. Just destroy all the pawns. <laughs> um, this is probably so stupid. I probably rook... missed, like, a mate already. But I don't know how to checkmate. <laughs> I just don't. I have to get rid of every single piece. I feel like he knows. He wants to bring in the rook. Yep, rook there. Uh, and uh, rook d8 is, uh, he wanted to play this anyway. And the problem here is now the rook is going to get traded. And I, my prediction was going to be that he brings the rook down here. He takes, and then he goes here, uh, and then he loses his rook. But now that's unlikely, and white just doesn't have enough material here. Uh, one way to secure a match victory is to take all of White's pieces, because even if you stalemate, which would be Fusli's third stalemate of the event, uh, you still win the match, because you get one and a half out of two. So he's yeah. he's- yeah, that's a very safe way of doing it. But I think he's gonna bring down the rook. I mean, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't think he's actively thinking about stalemating, um, but that is a good thing to have in your back pocket, certainly. For sure. And now queen e2 or queen f2 and then get the rook behind the queen and then checkmate on g2 with the queen. Yes, exactly right. G2 or a ladder mate or... This is nice. Uh, yeah, or, or anything. Fusli looks extremely excited. I, I, I don't... I mean, I, 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 love, I love the attitude and... But it's good. It's good to see that losing in chess doesn't have to be painful. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's painful. I mean, when I lose in chess, I'm not smiling like she is. I mean, she looks even happier than Squeaks right now. I know Squeaks just can't even believe. Uh, can't even believe. You know, he's just um, Rook D two. Oh man, clean. Well, your prediction might become true with the rook takes g2 and then losing the rook on h2. I'm not sure if that's not going to happen, but we'll see. Oh, well, that's that. It's heading that way. Squeaks, don't go rook h2. You got to win on the light squares here. So queen here and queen here. If he plays queen e2, that will show high level understanding, kind of like paralyzing the white king. Uh, queen e2 is by far the fastest way to win. Uh, f2 also, and then f3. But E2 is a high level understanding, just immediately seeing that you could go there. Just don't go here, because you lose the rook, and uh, that would be bad. If he goes queen E2, I mean, Lavi, I'll, I'll, I'll like literally like leave my chair. Like, well, okay, he, he played the more human <laughs> one, but, but you, this move is, is a delay. Like, you're threatening this, you're, you don't even realize what you're threatening here. You just kind of get closer. But this would have been a really high level understanding because. It shows how your pieces work. He kind of wants this, but he, he can't get it. But she might even go here, right? Like, she's kind of out of moves. So she's just going to push a pawn. Hopefully he doesn't hang his queen and his rook. And then this is this is easy. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't think he's going to do it. But I just need to say something. People are now saying in chat that Squeaks is, like, way too good to be in pock terms. Like, he's so good. You know, a few days ago, but people were saying, you know, that Squeaks wasn't as good. So this just shows how much some of the players are improving throughout the tournament as well. I think that is by far the best and most solid match by Squeaks. Yeah, Squeaks is on a redemption arc, which I think is important. I think he uh, was a little bit... I think he was a bit, you know, like the best player in the, in the, in the group was obviously XQC. And I think he was also probably terrified yeah, of Tyler 1. Time. People were saying that. 
that chat. I know chat is saying who said that. I saw people saying that. I saw several people saying that. Mm. <laughs> He's deep I just want this here. bishop out of here. Is that crazy for me to say? What? How is that crazy? Is that inappropriate for me to say? I don't care what? for this bishop at all. I don't like it. Why is I that want it to go way? away. How is that controversial? What? Of course it's fine to say. You know. But she's not going to move it because it's defended. Oh! <gasps> she did it! <laughs> I just you said don't! It, Levy. I just said it? don't go there! <gasps> we need a compilation. Chess.com right. social media crew. Look through the Pog Champs oh, games. Oh, baby! Let's and go! find how many times I called the move Let's before go. it happened. I mean, <laughs> Not <laughs> bad at all. 90% accuracy. Oh. Let's fucking go. Let's that was fucking very good. go. Yeah, that was that was a very nice game. Our first matchup of the knockout stage of PogChamps 5 is officially in the books. And we have our first semi-finalist. And that is Squeaks with a resounding 2 to nothing win with an average accuracy of like 80% in the two games. Well, amazing stuff. Absolutely amazing. I think it's played really well. And this unfortunately means that Fusli is now eliminated from Pog Champs, but she's fought really well throughout this tournament. Yes. Uh, it was a, she had, she had a tough go. The average ELO of the first group was something like 800. And then her first opponent was no walk in the park in the consolation bracket. He was the one and only squeaks, uh, trash talked by both members of group C in their exit interview yesterday. He's on a path to redemption. And now I have a soft spot in my heart because he, he quoted one of my, uh, you know, quips, uh, today in, in his thought process. So now I'm, I'm cheering for squeaks. Uh, well, you know, Lavi, I need to say something. You know what Fusli said the other day? She said that she like would, would like play chess with Sakuna and then put like your videos up and then like they were would like watch your videos and hear them. So she also watches your videos. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. Well, he probably watched them more. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. They gotta send the watch hours. I don't know who to cheer for. You know what? We won't be biased, but we will give props because squeaks to nothing can't have it any better than that. I think we're going to show you some brackets now uh, because uh, we have our, our updated bracket. Uh, we, are, we are actually going to... I forgot that we interview people after they win. <laughs> uh, I for, forgot about that. Been a while. Been a vacation. I'm jet lagged. Uh, we are going to bring uh, Squeaks on uh, for an interview uh, because he won the match and that's what we do. We are not going to ignore him. And uh, very convincing display. We'll be right back with our first winner of the day, and I am going to drink some coffee. Engage in a battle of epic proportions against some of the most bodacious artists history hath ever seen. Behold, Raphael, the Prince of Painters, doth seek a fresh apprentice. Dost thou possess the prowess to impress him? Michelangelo, a true Renaissance man, painter, sculptor, architect, and poet, doth possess a myriad of artistic talents. Yet one wonders. Can his creative genius translate to brilliance upon the board of chess? Prepare thyself for a game as dramatic as the Baroque paintings of Artemisia Gentileschi, one of the most expressive artists of the 1600s. Our renowned sculptor, Donatello, stands tall as one of the most important artists of the early Renaissance. His unique blend of creativity, aesthetics, adaptability, and patience maketh him a challenging foe. Lo, Leonardo da Vinci, known for his artistic talents, scientific curiosity, and innovative ideas, is the very embodiment of the Renaissance. 
He is not only among the greatest artists to ever live, but also one of the greatest thinkers. May fortune smile upon thee. Create thy masterpiece on chess.com. Cowabunga! Welcome back, everyone, to our coverage of PogChamps 5. We see there the winning celebration. First match in the consolation bracket concludes. Squeaks is the winner. Was that the same reaction? Or was that two rea- was that that was two reactions, right? I don't even that was, anyway, we're I was joined say now. Before. <laughs> we're, we're, it was two reactions. That that they were very similar. What's up, Squeaks? Welcome to the show. Congratulations on the win. Oh, thank you so much. You know, I was so excited. I had to play out my reaction i'm basically an npc but i'm i'm so happy my heart was pumping the entire time i mean it was just a blast well speaking of uh, npc uh i'm, I'm going to just start right now that's actually a good idea you know all these npc streams nowadays that, that might be just one of the celebrations you just <laughs> i don't know i'm just going to propose you a business idea we got time to kill i uh, already did us, it Levy, uh, yesterday i'm not that's, i'm did, fresh did off you really? the npc stream that's why the soul has left my eyes <laughs> Oh, I'm oh I'm, I was on I was on a plane like half the day. I did not know. I would have watched. I would have I would have I'll be there for the next one. Uh, there you go. I'm glad you did. Did you make watch. money? Did you make money? Yeah, I made money. Yeah, I made money, but at the cost of my soul. How much money? Oh, I don't I, you know, I don't know. We, we don't want to. Was oh, it was I, it like worthy? I'm not sure. It, oh, it was not worth it. <laughs> it was now it I your last time doing it? Mirror. What was that? <laughs> It was that your last time doing an NPC stream, or will we see more Squeaks NPC streams? Oh, last time I'm ever gonna do it. Last time I might stream. Honestly, <laughs> that was uh, it was a lot. No, that was it. There's no way I'm doing any more. I'm sorry to say. Well, I was gonna ask you, because uh, you today, like you played so good. That was like absolutely amazing. Your accuracy was really good. Um, was that your preparation doing an NPC stream, or like what did you do to prepare to play like this? <laughs> Well, something that I think helped a lot is I haven't played chess since I played against uh, XQC. So, like, what really charged me was everyone was talking shit. Like, QD said that I was so bad at chess. XQC, Tyler won. They said I was, like, dog shit. So all of that just 
fueled me until it congealed into this chess momentum that I was able to just unleash today. So from this point on, I promise not only are you going to get big wins from me, but I'm going to have a high accuracy. I'm confident in my chest now from all the hate. I That's amazing. People in chat were saying that you were playing so well. They were hyping you up so much. It was amazing. You played so well. I, uh, oh, thank you so much. I, I was actually, I, I was saying squeaks during the show, like, you know, yesterday you, you were catching a few strays from, you know, and I, and I, and I, XQC was the clear favorite in the group. Like he's got a lot of experience, but maybe it was just Tyler one's muscles. Like I'd be scared if I played the guy, I feel like if you get a repeat versus him, you know, maybe it goes a little differently, you know, it happens, but, uh, <laughs> I think it hundred percent would go differently. I'm scared of Tyler. If he sneezes, I'll get blown away, let alone on the chessboard. I'm terrified. I don't want to be in LA with Tyler horrifying right that's what i thought see that's that that was my prediction but it was a uh it was a good good match couple of matches you you gave away the night in the first game it was a very funny moment because you said i say double pawns are bad in my videos and then you let her <laughs> undouble the pawns and take your knight but was that a gambit was that like strategic to get the attack you wanted the checkmate everything i do is strategic levy um but right. here's what i would say I just say things to sound cool in the moment without knowing what I'm saying. So I knew that you were doing commentary. So I was like, you know what? Levy shout out. Like maybe this would be like a cool James Bond moment or whatever. Um, so no, I think I just accidented into uh, double. <laughs> I'm doing the double nights. Honestly, I just wanted to sound cool, Levy. All right. <laughs> it, it was so cool. Uh, I'm, I, I got the clip you. saved. So, you know, I, I appreciate it. And uh, now, now I'm rooting for you. I told Anna live on the show. I said, you know what? He, he watches. Yep. I, I'm, I'm cheering for him. So. Uh, you are the dark horse now. Uh, Levy was the, uh, your number go. one fan. He got so excited. Um, <laughs> I wanted to ask, how do you feel about now being in the it's gonna be semifinals? Yeah, in the semifinals of Pog Champs. Who do you want to play in the semifinals? Um, well, I don't really. I would want to play probably. Let's see. I probably want to play Cutie Cinderella because Cutie said I'm so bad, and like at, when I, Cutie and I actually been playing chess. Like we played chess, like we played like 10 matches together and I only took like one game off of cutie. <laughs> so I would mm -hmm. love to like have this sort of be like the gauntlet where I come back and I've come become so much better that I could eventually beat cutie Cinderella who helped me a lot in the beginning to learn. <laughs> so I would want to be amazing cutie. Yeah. I'm ready to and, go. And after you beat cutie, you'll go to, you, you'll get a plane ticket to LA from, from Ludwig. It's like the perfect, you know, and then, and then we'll, <laughs> we'll see you there. You're going to be live for the finals. Any more pressure there, or does it feel you feel good? You feel motivated? It's the uh, oh, I feel teacher great. becomes I the feel master. I feel so good. Oh no, I'm so motivated. It'll be like a real Karate Kid moment. I I I'm just ready to win. I'm gonna take the lose. I'll be like the best loser. <laughs> so I'm ready to hold that title close to my heart. It's beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Uh, That's squeaks. Amazing. Squeaks, ladies and gentlemen. That was a very very fun interview. Thank you for kicking us off in the uh, knockout portion of our uh, of our pod champs coverage uh i personally wish you all the best for the rest of your matches which there I will wish be you for hopefully all the best too <laughs> and uh you know anna wishes you uh but i wish you even more the best all right i i am a fan what and, is this a competition uh, I'm a fan of yes it I is you, the, the, I, you know it, it I, I got name dropped so I, you know i'm it, i gotta get his autograph now when when i see him in los angeles it's gonna be a beautiful moment um squeaks uh, this was a lot of fun, uh, and uh, keep a close eye on Cutie versus Ginny because you might have an opponent very soon. So, oh, we'll I'm ready. For the I semis. will. Thank you both so much. Appreciate it. It was a pleasure. It was it's a pleasure. pleasure. I'm, still, I'm, I'm, I'm about to cry. I'm about to cry. <laughs>
Welcome back, everyone, to our coverage of Pog Champs 5. We are lucky enough to be joined by Foosley for an interview as well. Uh, how was your Pog 5 experience? Talk to us. Uh, expectations versus reality about the match. And uh, also, thank you for playing in Pog Champs again. You were like an OG. You gave, you gave Chess a try before it was cool. That's, um, yeah, the first Pog Champs was very different for me versus this one. The first one I, I did, I was able to like, you know, train for like two weeks prior. Um, I was losing sleep over it because I was so stressed because, you know, chess, they, they always, people always correlate chess to like intelligence for some reason, you know? And I always just, I was just so afraid to look stupid. Like I was just so afraid of it. And so I, I was up late studying, watching videos, all that jazz. And then for this one, I was really busy beforehand. So, um, I, I didn't get to, to study as much, but I, I will say I watched a lot of your videos, you know, so everything I know it's because of you, Levy. Well, <laughs> I told you. Levy I... that before he was cause Sque Squeaks was saying that during the game, he was like, Oh, I've watched, you know, Levy uh, saying all of this. And I was like, Levy, Fusli watches your videos too. I heard that in another interview. She's also your fan. <laughs> well, I had I, your London I, I... open on the right side, just like how to do it, how to win with the London. I was, I was watching that video Hell right yeah. before my game. Yeah, j not during. That that's very important. No, no, not you during the game. I yeah. was no tutorial. Sorry, no tutorial to open during the game. It was before, right before it, and then and then yeah, uh, the no, I didn't die. The opening, the opening versus Squeaks was good. Yeah, it's just and even in the first game, like the Karo Khan, it, it it's very good. But um, yeah, like especially if you don't play uh, actively for weeks before, and if mm. chess is not something that you do a lot, um, it can happen. And Squeaks also is kind of like very much on a redemption arc right now because his whole group has been trashed like the whole c and d cutie uh tyler one x you see have all been trash talking him so uh yeah i mean it, you you i heard it he was, was a tough bad I, for sure. I, I am not gonna lie i, I didn't you I heard he was bad, bad? <laughs> i didn't hear he was bad like, everyone I, I, I was I saying that <laughs> i did hear he was bad. i was watching a podcast this morning and they were they were uh they were talking and ludwig and cutie were talking about how like they watched his game and how it like he was bad and i was like maybe <laughs> i'll beat squeaks maybe i will but and then so i lost him and so i feel a little bad but then i watched his interview like just now oh, i could i couldn't make out the words but i could see his face and you see how big <laughs> of his smile he had on his face and he was like this and that and his smile and <laughs> honestly it was for i did i threw for it for his happiness so you know i um you're welcome yeah I he was very happy he was so happy yeah he was it, very it, happy yeah, it was cute I wanted to ask, Fusli, uh, there was this one game where you were doing all of these pre-moves. It was so exciting. You know, me and Lavi, like our hearts were racing. We're like, is Squeaks going to figure out that she's pre-moving? Or what, what was that all about? Um, so I realized from the first game, I, I, he's like way better than I thought he was. So I was like hoping that I could freak him out a little bit, you know, like just move super quickly. Because sometimes like at the beginning of a game, like when, like if, you know, a lot of people like take their time. But if my opponent is going like like every time I move, they already moved. It starts throwing me off because I'm like, wait, they, they're, they're so good. They're moving so quickly. Like they, they've downloaded the game. And so my hope was that he like, because it's a London, it's pretty like, um, standard, like all the pieces kind of go the same way. Every time I've played the London, which is the only white opening I play against everyone in this match, it's been like a mirror matchup every single, like, I think all of my games have been like to a T. So there hasn't been any like crazy, like, you know, I take your bishop this or whatever at the beginning. So I just figured that was my mental game is like to to be aggressive and to like freak him out. But he didn't. Yeah, he didn't. He still. Yeah, but he Chaz is all about psychology. So that was really good. That was really good. And it worked. And you got a great opening that game. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. What about the mid middle yeah, the game? <laughs> no, but that's yeah, that's all hundreds of rounds of puzzle solving. And again, like if you're rusty at all or if and yeah, this Pog Champs didn't have as much of like a training arc as, as some of the first ones did because it's hard. It's hard getting all these creators to like agree to time slots and coaching and everybody's also doing like 10 other things nowadays. My my question was going to be, uh, you obviously play basically like every game, right? So, uh, and also you're in a lot of uh, group uh, collabs and like if they play everything from like Among Us to Fall Guys to like four different FPS games that I don't even, I can't keep track of all them because I'm, totally one dimensional in my content. Uh, uh -huh. Is chess like the hardest and most unique one in the sense that 
it is so for lack of a, you know, it's not a good reason, but it's so correlated with intelligence. Like you could fail massively in any FPS and it's just like a viral clip, but something about chess is different, right? Because yes. you feel like yes. it's like attacks your ego a little bit. It does. It wa it, I don't know what, because there's so much like thinking, right? It's like, it's, uh, it is very different. Like just because someone's very, you know, smart, high IQ, whatever would not mean like they might never have played chess or they might not pick chess up very well. It's a different muscle you're flexing, but something about chess feels like an attack on your intelligence when you're bad at it. So that's why I've always avoided it. Or like I'll randomly get like very defensive during a chess game. Like I'm like very competitive. Like it brings out like something in me um, that I'm like, I cannot lose to this person playing chess because then they'll think I'm stupid. And I don't know what it is about chess. I know it's like not that, but during the first Pong champs, absolutely. I was like, I, I felt that very much so. And I don't really know why this one, I was a lot more relaxed. And once I just said like, it's okay, I, I don't have time to practice. I'm just going to play it out um, and have fun. The games are fun. Like even losing the game is fun. It's like little puzzles, figuring them out. And, um, you know, thinking about like, like, like I always struggle. I always think I can take a piece but then I forget that they can take that piece. So I'll like put the bishop or like I'll fork two pieces. I'm like, yes. And then they just eat it. And that blows my mind. They're like, I just, I forget such common, like such obvious things. Um, and then like, I'll forget like a bishop can move backwards. Like it goes this way. So sometimes I'll just have a bishop and there's like their knight right behind it or like a rook right behind it. And I'm just only thinking, how do I progress towards their side? Sorry, what was the original question? I'm ranting. No, that, that was that, yeah. that, that, that was that was the question. I mean, it was like, yeah, it, it's all it's all it, it's all practice and just hundreds of repetitions. It's the same way, like if you don't go to the gym for a while and then you go, you just get sore immediately and you're like, or you might even hurt yourself if you like lift wrong. Uh, it's the same with chess. Yeah. So I wanted to ask because there's a like yourself, there's a, also a few other creators that just like literally every game that is popular, uh, whether it's like a phase like Fall Guys or just like long term FPS games, you all play all the time. And I and I do wonder if chess is and I, I was wondering if chess is unique because it's it's oh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like it it's can so be different. really awful to play. Like it can be well, very yeah. demoralizing it's just, or it, it's just very like it feels just hard, like like almost like there's no way I can just jump in and be good at chess. It's a, a, like you need to play so much of it um and and then uh i guess yeah i, I i'm much more of like a I'll, like I'll hop around and i'll i'll play chess if people want to uh but it is definitely like a, a very separate from the other ones you know i'll play among us and gta and fall guys valorant whatever um chess isn't usually at the top of the list nor in the middle but you look so happy like, playing it bottom. you know when you're playing I did, <laughs> I did enjoy it like it's fun to talk out my thoughts and like during the actual thing there's something on the line um it is fun in that way and i would definitely do another I, I think i would do another pog champs probably as long as there's like no pressure on it i like i just show up for the matches um yeah i had i had fun i actually did um i'd say the first one was definitely more of like an intense experience for me because I committed so much time. I remember I was staying up till like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., just like watching videos and learning like the like basic chess theory, just like stuff like that. And, it, and then I started, I started to like feel the improvement because I understood like, you know, you go from not, knowing absolutely nothing to like, oh, I'm not supposed to move the same piece twice or uh, castling or whatever basic stuff. So that first initial excitement. And then I realized I kind of like hit a wall. Like I'm not going to get much better without practicing after a certain point. Um, and so then I haven't played in three years. So I actually just think I'm, I was better back then three years ago because I hadn't played for three years. Uh, and then I stopped practicing. So, yeah. And I actually won wanted the first one. I beat E-Rob and now I didn't beat anybody. But I have a point because of Cutie and she could her, her lack of ability to... <laughs> check me <laughs> that was legendary <laughs> yeah that was that was awesome uh well listen uh it was uh it was great having you as a participant in pog champs 5 and pog champs 6 redemption arc straight to the top of the champions bracket no sleep for three weeks grind chess uh you know uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be legendary or just play for fun thank that you also that too that also is gonna be good um Fusli, appreciate your time very much and uh, we will say goodbye to you until the next chess event. Uh, it's been uh, it's been great. Thank I'm, you so much. I'm for out joining of the tournament. Yes. I'm done. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh.
I'm so sorry. That's fine. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> we can so give him someone's spot. I, I wonder if we no, can no, just no, like no, not let QB play. That. Like, oh. you... no, 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 no. I'm good. <laughs> I'm okay. good. Thank you so much. <laughs> See you next time. Okay. See Bye, you. Felicity. Thanks for Bye. thanks for joining. Thank you. That was great. Uh, I I wouldn't even be against it. We could like we could just slot her in. Uh, we've got two more matches coming your way. We've got Jarvis and Daily Dose of Internet on the other side of this break, and we've got Gasly versus Frank as well in the champions bracket. And we've got two. I have been informed that there is not going to be a break. I love just saying things and then completely reverse. I I it's so fun because it's like a little game I get to play with the audience. It's also the producer is like, hey, no break, because we ran out of time, because you you went too long in the interview. And I'll be like, oh, my bad, I'm not. I'm, I'm just a dude in a t-shirt talking about chess. Beautiful stuff, chat. Uh, chat, how, how y'all doing? Anna, how you, how you doing? Well, we got to talk about the next matchup, I think. But, you know, just a little, just to check I'm in with everybody. I'm doing great, Levy. I'm doing great. You're doing great. We're all doing great. I hope chat is doing great as well. That was a great interview with Fusli. It was really fun. And I'm happy that she's so, she's so positive. And I'm happy that she could still be positive, um, e even though uh, she now lost. But we're going to go to the other matches. So Jarvis versus Daily Dose. Yep. Starting with uh, Daily Dose uh, of Internet. We, he, we just removed his legal last two names. Um, he's got over 16 million subs, but this was made at the beginning of the tournament. So honestly, he's growing so fast, he might already have 17. Uh, he... Th Does that say six wins and 35 losses in the book? Bu Wait, what? Is that accurate? I, was that supposed to be funny? That's just, that's just mean. <laughs> oh my God. What, it, all right, can we just throw him? He looks really cool. Just put him on. I mean, my goodness, that's a mean player card. Uh, he's still better than the Charlotte Bobcats that went 10 and 72. Uh, he is looking like a killer. Uh, he is a, a back from the dead. It's like a UFC fighter that loses three in a row and then scores a flying knockout and takes his shorts off. Of course, I'm talking about Derek Lewis, the one and only Black Beast. He looks very similar to Daily Dose. Uh, Daily Dose had a rough time in the group, Anna, right? He went 0-3, uh, but he is back. And he is ready for redemption. Uh, and also, he's coached by uh, Nemo, apparently. I, I did not know that. So um, I, we, their game is going to get started soon. So let me talk about Jarvis, his opponent. Uh, Jarvis was a beast. He came in having not played any games in 17 years. He's got over 600 million views. on. This is all the stuff about his career. He's an incredible person, incredible content creator, three-time Streamy Award commentary nominee. Incredible dude. Now, let's throw us back on the screen for a second because we got to talk about Jarvis. I commentated a few of his early matches and uh, this dude came out of nowhere and he nearly beat Sea Dog. He, he beat Sea Dog and then was beating him in their blitz playoff and lost on time, Anna. I don't know if you got a chance to catch his match. The, he is crazy. Like, he's a sleeper to win the whole uh, consolation bracket and, and he's going up against Daily Dose who's got a fire under him, who's got the Matrix glasses. I don't know what to expect. It, it's going to be some crazy stuff. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. You're very right, Jarvis. He has played so well, and it feels like he's improving also all throughout the tournament. I mean, he's becoming better and better and better. And uh, he's playing right now against Daily Dose, who was part of the Group B, which was the hardest group in Pog Champs, in my opinion. So I think Daily Dose, even though he did lose all of his matches, he played some really good chess. I mean, the chess that he played, it was really close on him beating some of the participants. So it's definitely, I think, going to be a very close match now. And I'm very excited to watch it. I'm, I'm, I want to see if Jarvis is wearing some cool sunglasses, just like daily doses or not i mean i would put them on right now if i was him yeah we're, we're waiting for jarvis to connect i don't think he's actually uh on camera just yet but yeah just like a reminder of the journey of the players daily dose had literally literally got zero points in the group so you look at that you go ha he lost every match in the rapid but it's not that simple like his match against ghastly could have gone either way all right he was very close to leveling the score versus sapnap that would have guaranteed him a point you know, he played virtual next and virtual, like, he, he, was he 1200? Was he 2100? Was he 200? Like, nobody knew, right? So it was a tough match for sure. Uh, Jarvis, meanwhile, uh, has had, like, a very different journey. I mean, he, you didn't know what he was. He had a rating of zero and, like, no games played at all. And then it turns out that he's, like, 900 level, 800 level. Uh, and he was in a tough group. So we see them on camera. Them, Absolutely. actually, just Jarvis for now. Uh, Anna, but I'm pumped. I, I don't know what to expect.
I think it's going to be really fun. I'm just wondering, you know, last time Daily Dose played, when he played against Virtual, he didn't really know uh, what the game was for. He didn't really know that uh, he was already going to the Constellation Bracket. So I'm wondering if he actually knows that if he loses now, he's getting eliminated. That is my my biggest question. That, do the players know that this match is, is, is all in now? I mean, the loser will be out of Pog Champs. Do the players know the format of the event? That is a <laughs> wonderful question. It was a 50% success rate last match. And we also don't even know if Squeaks knew the format. Like, you know, we showed him the bracket during the interview, but maybe if he had lost, he would have been like, wait, I'm eliminated. So it, it's good. It's good. They, nobody knows anything. We're just here to play chess and have fun uh, in the words of Foosley. So, uh, and uh, it's, uh, it, 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 it's, it's going to be a wonderful time. Um, Jarvis has the white pieces in the first game. And after three matches, apparently has an ELO of 841, which is monstrous. So he's already looking like the highest rated player in the Constellation bracket. And Jarvis uh, plays E4, and that's about all I know. And I just know that Daily Dose plays the bird, which is F4. So Yeah, I've seen Daily Dose playing a lot of the bird, mm -hmm. um, which is why virtual he decided to play the cow, because, you know, cow versus the bird. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to see this. I mean, Jarvis might be a favorite of the Constellation bracket, but I think Daily Dose is up there too. I... Sorry, I, I went I went dead NPC there for a second because we've just been told. I, I like having private conversations with production and the chat has, doesn't know anything. It's like so funny. I know. Uh, I had it, that it, yesterday. It, I know how it feels. <laughs> it feels cool. I, I, I enjoy it a lot. Um, the Oh, of course, if you're just joining us, let's remind you of what the match format is. That's important. Uh, the players are going to play two rapid games against each other. Many of you heard this many times. Just, just bear with us because, you know, if somebody pops in, they don't know, even know what's going on, right? So they play two rapid games of 10 minute and five second bonus chess. The winner of the mini match of two games moves on to the semifinals uh, and uh, the loser does not. Not all of them know that, but those are the rules. Uh, and uh, if it's tied one to one, they are going to play a blitz playoff. Uh, we've had a couple of those. We had a double overtime between Sapnap and Gasly. That was a lot of fun. Uh, and I do believe that games are about to get underway. Uh, move one is on the board, and Jarvis has played pawn to e4, daily dose, in the boxer gloves ready. I mean, the, bo the boxing hands, e4, e5, just like in the World Cup. Knight to f3. And here we go. The Philidor defense from daily dose. One thing I like a lot about daily dose is he says he's hyper competitive. One thing I don't like about Daily Dose is he doesn't put himself in the best position to succeed, Anna. Like, he plays a lot of openings that have slight issues. Like, you know, he played F6 against Sapnap and had a very cagey position, but with a lot of weaknesses. So chess players oftentimes don't put themselves in good positions to succeed because they don't follow the basic principles. Like D4 right now is a great move, right? It is a great move. Yeah, I mean, I think he's trying to follow the the principles, but um, but yeah, you're absolutely right. And I do think that this is totally fine now, though. I think that, yes, his dark squared bishop is going to be a little bit locked in, but at least it's a pretty solid opening. And there we go. We see Jarvis playing d4, which is a great move. Yeah, and you see Daily Dose likes to do this, and he does it a lot, but you, you cannot play chess as an aspiring beginner and do your own thing. It's just not possible. It's like if you try to ride a bike a different way than it was supposed to be ridden, you would fall. Like it, it, there is literally no other way to ride a bike. You have to press the pedals in a certain direction and hold on to the handlebars. So he did this also against Sapnap and it worked out about 20, 30 moves down the line, but he's already at a massive disadvantage because he has no space. And even in the game against Sapnap, he complained he couldn't get his bishop out. But here he is doing the same thing. So, whoa, G5, whoa! G5! You cannot say you're competitive, but not put yourself in a position to succeed. This like breaks my heart. You know what I mean? Like, ah! <laughs> No, I, I agree with you, Lavi. I do feel sad because I thought after he got checkmated in six moves, he might start looking a little bit more into king safety, but I suppose that's not the case yet. No, the only thing he has going for him is that beginners don't really know how to exploit something like this. And they might even think, oh my God, he's doing something and he's taking space. This bishop is now a million dollar piece. And if you trade it off, yeah, but, but, just, but just this, right? You know? Um, yeah, he's going all in though. Like, do you see it? Do you see his face right now? Like, he's going all in. He decided that he's gonna win. But the problem is that he needs to at least get that king castle soon as well. Like, get the knight out, get the queen out, go alongside castles. He's going a little bit too early with this. I feel like. Oh, but he's getting a big response out of Jarvis, which is you know fine. The computer doesn't like it because of take, take, and g4. <laughs> Just shutting the door here. 
And the, the next best move is like trying to develop. I mean, the computer understands that it is not equipped to attack. And if he takes, there's going to be a blockade. Uh, and uh, again, you, you can say you're hyper competitive, but you have to give yourself a, you have to, you have to do things slightly the right way. Right. Cause we, we, <laughs> what I will say, and what I always say to beginners is like, if your position after seven, eight moves does not look like some top level games, it's probably for a good reason. Right. And we have moves. Yeah, I mean, I would say that I do like the creativity, but yeah, the truth is that a lot of times the creativity doesn't really work um, in these sort of games. But I'm hoping right now that we see a little bit more of peace development, that we see alongside castles. But I will say this, I think that for Jarvis, this can be hard to play against. It's not yep. easy to see a full on uh, battle of pieces in front of your king. It can get very, very, very scary. So maybe Jarvis will, will get a little bit intimidated by this. Yeah, already the best move for White is to go back to try to trade the bishop. Now it's al it's already turning around. And this very well could work out for Daily Dose uh, in this particular game, but for a long-term weapon, you can't do stuff like this. You're just not putting yourself... But, you know, you also could play chess however you want. They told artists of the past that... Uh, by the way, as Jarvis has made a move that even equalizes the position, they used to tell artists of the past that... They can't do certain things or certain techniques, and they did them and became famous. So um, I actually think you're right, and I think Jarvis is in trouble. Yeah. No, I actually think that Daily Dose is going to get the, the, the good opening here. He's done his own thing, but I think he's gone into Jarvis' head, and I think Jarvis is getting nervous. So I actually really, really trust Daily Dose in, in this game. Yeah. Jarvis is already like two moves away from just being worse. Uh, wow, great move. I just drew an arrow there. Oh, but he's got to deal with that. He's got to slide over. Uh, he unpinned himself, which means he can now move his knight back, which is a huge, huge deal. Um, no, will he same. move it back? Like, will he go knight h2? It's a very difficult move to see to just move it back to that square. It looks very passive there. Oh, he, yeah, and by the way, he gets his queen out of the way. The problem for Daily Dose is that he might go long, but that just walks right into White's attack. So because of the way that he's played this opening, he has massive long-term problems. He cannot castle this way. He probably cannot castle that way either. The computer for Black already wants to play moves like Rook H7, which I don't even know how to explain. Uh, <laughs> but the next few moves will decide who's probably going to win this game. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't like that. Queen takes creates an, a, a very simple plan for black though to just push the pawns and see what happens right exactly um but and g4 is coming for sure just don't play h4 because you're not trying to attack on the light squares you're trying to uh, uh yeah there you fantastic. there we go that's the best move will jarvis find this queen f5 Queen of five could get scary though queen g6 and that king might start to see the consequences of uh being without all its pawns. Wow. Wow. Well spotted. And Daily Dose does play too quickly. Like, he might play Knight H6 virtually instantly and lose H5. Queen G6 just still comes in. He's going to see this and just do this right away, and it could backfire. This is a huge problem, and he's attacking on the light squares, which have been weakened by the first so four moves for black, right? So, I guess, yeah. are you hearing Jarvis? Do we have him open mic'd? I think so. I think I'm hearing some <laughs> voice. I think it's Jarvis. <laughs> yeah. I think we have an open mic on Jarvis trying to get his thoughts, of which are mostly just hmm. Hmm. Which is fair enough. That's how I sound when I'm playing chess too. No, it's not. I've been to Anna Kramling streams. No, no, it's not. That is not. <laughs> you do not sit there making thinking noises. <laughs> Okay, not when I'm streaming, not when I'm streaming, but if I'm just playing for myself and I'm concentrating, at, I'm making thinking noises. At tournaments, like in the silence, you just mm, mm, <laughs> No, no, like mm, in tournaments, <laughs> but I mm, in my living room when I'm playing chess, you know, in my Who computer. Who do you play in your living room? I, what, what, none of these yeah, examples make any on sense. I'm playing the computer because random oh. people in chess are coming. and I okay, go, mm. okay. All right, that's, that, that's, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. That's fair. Um, Can I, 
Levy, you missed one thing that was zero away, and that was that when Daily Dose was playing virtual, he actually resigned in a in an equal position because he thought that he was completely lost. And I'm very scared that he is going to see his attack fail, get really upset, and then you know somehow like tilt and resign or, or something like that. Because that happened move last the time. Bishop there? You mean Daily Dose? Why did uh, you he said Daily Dose the resigned, there? right? What does that do? Daily Dose resigned him? against virtual, yeah, in, a, in an equal position because he thought he was lost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I think he did that against Sapnap as well. And, and it's weird because, uh, but I feel for him. Like he, he exhibits this kind of thing where he's super competitive. What if I did that? But oh, he's just. Oh no, up. the knight protects it. Why so is? So if I do that, I'm so confused. He's just turned up. I don't know. Do we just be quiet when he speaks? So and, if I is he like go God? here, so we just, then... just hear his voice. Like I thought I was, I thought I was like schizo. Like I, I just kept hearing voices. I can't do this to me. I'm jet lagged. The like, not let me. I'm not gonna so lie. Me. Oh my goodness, I'm so confused. I, seem... I, I just kept. I was like, is that Anna? Like, is... Wise. Okay. Uh, my, my voice he's is still... not that. I know he's still talking. All right. You know what? I, all right. I guess he's just part of the commentary now. I guess he's just part of the this daily dose is not talking so i you know um oh my goodness hi jarvis how you doing man can you hear me i hope not oh i thought that was his voice saying i hope not okay queen g6 check has been played um this could start getting scary yeah, yeah. Uh, Daily Dose is going to have to find the... Yep, good move. Queen F7. Now, the best move for, for, for white here is to throw in another check. That's unfindable at this level. Just forcing the king to uh, to go and then stopping the knight's escape and then B4 is the best. There's no way bishop B5. I mean, the bishop B5 would be a crazy move. Bishop B5 would be crazy, but I think Jarvis can see it. I feel like he knows that there's something going on in this position. Otherwise, he would go queen takes F7 immediately. I think he knows that there are some tactics with the king in the middle. I... Okay. 97. 97 traps the queen. Oh my oh. god, Anna, it's what you said. You said this could happen. <gasps> Did I? Yes, you said, oh, but oh, you said queen f5 was scary for black. But I'm it's also- kidding. No, I said it. I knew it, Levy. I knew it. I knew it. I was sure of it. Yes. <laughs> oh, 97. Knight h. Oh, and it's on the board. Oh. oh. Wow. That is amazing. The queen 97. is gone. See- and this is the problem because now Daily Dose is going to play this nonsense again. And he's going to think he won because of this. He did not win. You know what? It, whatever. He understands chess better than me. I got to have a talk with Daily Dose. Super nice guy, but so stubborn. <laughs> he just does what he wants. People but are watching this. it's working for him, Levy. It's working for him. It, it's not working for him because of him. It's working for him because his opponents aren't punishing it. Like Jarvis was winning, right? He was winning. And he just couldn't capitalize. Now the queen is trapped. He, 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 you know, Daily Dose got to make his own opening. This is the Daily Dose of internet opening right here. This is the, it's right here. Just <laughs> Daily Dose of chess. Daily Dose of chess. Daily Dose of chess. Exactly. That was actually a channel. Uh, that That's a cool guy. He uh, edits a lot of stuff for me, for others. Daily Dose of chess. Used to upload a lot of cool compilations. Anyway, knight to e7 uh, attacks uh, f5 and... Um, what about bishop b5 check now? Maybe Jarvis will play it in a desperate attempt, but yep. obviously, I mean, it, it doesn't really do much. I guess either the king can move to f8 or... Oh. Oh, he's up in the What's he doing? He said the knight could take it. Why does he do that? Why does he Why play so, so fast? Quickly? Where is he in a rush to? Does he have business <laughs> meetings? He moves so... He made that move in one second. Daily dose he of internet. The... It pretty much. He's hanging all his pieces with the oh, oh my goodness! Oh no! Anna, he he constantly puts himself in situations to win, and then look. I know. But then he just so doesn't. Sad. He had it. Just knight takes, but the knights don't move backwards, I guess. But he, I mean, he 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 built the house, and right before laying the last brick, he just drove a tractor through it. Like he he did everything. He did everything right, and then oh my goodness, and he oh, no. just he why you know fast he played queen e six two point five seconds two point five seconds on this move. Daily oh. goes just slowed down a little bit. That's just... seven minutes. He has seven minutes. Now he's getting the rook out of the open file. My only last hope here was for the rooks to double up, get a pawn to g3, and then somehow check me. But now even oh. that dream is gone.
This is a great move. Knight d5. He's going to trade this knight off, and this pawn is a passer. Once white activates the bishop in this, it's just what Anna said. The only chance that you have is to take the open file and weave what is called a checkmating net so the king cannot escape off the back rank. Oh, wow. wow. I can't believe it. I, I, I was so sure that Delidos had it there. That, he Yeah, I mean, he just rushed. He, he didn't even realize he trapped the queen. I wonder if Jarvis realized. Like, I wonder... I wonder if Jarvis realized. And see, now, Delidos is frustrated, right? You see it there, and, and I feel yeah. for him, but like... The the only way to prevent yourself from being frustrated is to break your bad habits, right? Like <laughs> that's the point. E seven is a great move, by the way. Yeah. And uh, but but now now is a key moment, Anna. Will Jarvis find a way through, or is he going to get tangled in this web of pieces? It's not over. I feel like he might play bishop b5, which is a pretty natural move, kind of looking at the rook. And I feel like that move would be pretty good. Obviously, it doesn't win on the spot. I guess the knight can retreat. But bishop b5 looks pretty good. Or otherwise, I guess he might want to move his knight on d5 because then the rook on g8 is hanging. C6 is a fork, though, no? Ah, oh, C6 is a fork! Bishop you're five? right! I... Yeah, you're right! Okay, well, Jarvis might play it and then play into those fights. Yeah. I, was, I was like, wait a minute. Are, are you are you predicting a pawn chance? I'm not looking move? with an engine, okay? I'm looking at this just like the players are, okay, Levy? I'm looking I mean, at this just like them, and I missed it. I, me too, but I saw the fork. I, I mean, I'm, I listen. Uh, okay, I, well, I wanted to ignore it, but I didn't. I didn't know. I thought you were predicting. Now, by the way, that's a great move, Bishop two e three. Anna, you were predicting. Jarvis is playing better than me. All right, I give up. Were, I give up. You, I give up. You were predicting the move. That's what you, you were predicting. Bishop b five. Oh God. I was predicting Bishop b five exactly. Oh. Ooh. Does he see? Does he see? Do both? First of all, do either of them see? Right? Because he missed it last time, but now it's the only thing that could be taken. Um, he must see it now. I feel like both people must see it at this moment in time. There's a great idea here to sack the rook and play bishop to d3, and the knight can't actually move anywhere. That's not findable at this level. The actual... Oh, you know what's a tragedy? If you take the rook, the knight takes, and you get forked. Like... Yeah, the best, you just leave it there. Yeah, you actually have to leave it there. Like, the best move for black is not to take this, because then there's this, and then... Oh my god. This is so tragic for Daily Dose. Yeah, because I was wondering if something like rook e6 would be played, if the rook would be moved. I mean, the rook is not really placed that well on e6. No, it's not. King d7, and then you... And it's... <sighs> Uh, yeah. Uh, no, it's oh, 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 that was that was one of the worst moves on the board. Now that now the rook is just oh, gone no. for free. <gasps> I've got Daily does the same. Oh, he's on the board. It's on the board. <sighs> this can take this now. Oh, Jarvis missed it. Now would now would be a good time to have audio. What's he saying? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Put him up. Mm. Okay. Oh, I'm playing so bad. But no, he, no, he's not. See, chess players hate themselves. He's not playing bad. He just made one mistake in 26 moves. Does he... The rook is hanging right now, by the way. Like, he could take the rook at this very moment. Yeah, yeah, he could take it. It's not over. And then bring... Oh, he's, he's found it. Now knight takes is the best move. Oh. oh. Wow. Oh, look at the... Oh, knight f6. Don't try... No, Wait, no. Why are you trading know. when no, you're losing? No, oh, my God. I don't know what's happening No, don't today. trade. Maybe... Oh, Open file. Maybe those are so happy. That's, there's no, they're both playing too fast. Oh, but Jarvis has two minutes. That makes sense. Uh, Anna, this is about to get fast paced because they're both going to speed up. So it's a completely winning end game now because Daily Dose is up two pawns. Um, but he has to take the open file. He has to push his king and his pawns together. That is how you win this. And then you overwhelm white, you trade pieces down, you win uh, an end game by promoting. Um, he might get mated. His king is completely on the back rank. Does he know to get his king off the back rank is another question. I was going to say that. I was going to say that I'm calling rook f1, and then if daily does would move his knight to some square that, uh, well, the root, where the rook can still move, then rook f8 would be a back rank checkmate. So that would be right now, if I was Jarvis, that, would, that is what I would play. But daily does is stopping it immediately. Look at that. Yeah. Even putting his king on a light square, yep. which is preventing 
any sort of checks. Yep, that's amazing stuff. Uh, he might bring his king next. This is an excellent move. And now rook f6. Just rook f6. That's all you can do. Just bother, bother, bother. Uh, this brick wall of pawns is too good. Uh, excellent move. Now, now Daily Dos could get his knight trapped. Like Bishop F2 or Bishop G5, and, and the knight is stuck. Yeah. Absolutely. The knight has to move either to E7 or probably go to F4, but that just loses a pawn and that will lose the G4 pawn as well, most probably. Oh no. So. But there's knight F4. Take, take, rook takes, pawn to G. Oh, I, I don't like retreating to the back rank. Just don't go here. A lot of people forget this. A piece just moved from a square. It still defends it. Don't go rook g6. This is pointless movement. This is pointless movement. What am I doing? It, no, I can't no, do not. that. Why is he so negative? Stop the negative self-talk. No, he needs to be... Ah! 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 <laughs> no! Oh, what? No! There he goes! Oh my god! Turn on! <sighs> why so fast? What is the point of all of this movement that I'm doing? <laughs> okay okay i gotta breathe i gotta breathe um the only way for jarvis to save his rook is to move his bishop anna the only way otherwise it's completely stuck D does he know that oh there's a fork and a fork he's got to take fork lots of forks he's got to take but then we're gonna see a couple of past pawns i mean c takes okay i would take with the other one yeah you want to have the two connected pass pawns. The way that, that, that he did it, you have this. And uh, now the kings are coming. But Anna, d d does he know? Yeah, if the king goes here, this king is going to come here and it's game over. Yeah, I mean, it's very natural to just bring the king up up the board. Uh, there's no way he's going anywhere else with the king. So I'm sure he's just going to bring up the king. I think this... Even if, if end games are typically hard at this level, I think that Daily Dose is going to... He's got this here. He's got this. He's going to bring up the king, and the G-pawn is going to win somehow. Rook G5. I, I guess he's trying to get in like this. This is, this is a relatively straightforward one. Um, yeah, D5 is a nice move, just making progress. Uh, and yeah, now here we go. But now, now here comes King E4. The only way that Black loses this game is by get, getting hit with a rook skewer. And obviously the only way black doesn't win this game is with a stalemate, which is possible. Like the king is... <laughs> Absolutely. But now look at that. <gasps> look at now, uh -oh. C4 and two pass pawns. Very strong play by Daily does here. Very strong play. Now those pawns roll by themselves pretty much. Yep, D3, King D4, C3. Just gonna march him down like the Terminator. Again, opportunity for a stalemate. He is wipe dusting off his hands He's he's a he's like a, he's talking trash. I don't know if the whole game deserves a trash talk, but oh, he hung his rug. He moused him. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's oh my god! He, he moused up this rug. You cannot script this stuff. Oh my god! And you know what the craziest part is? He still might be winning because C three King E three. I know he's not winning on the eval bar, Anna, but the pawns are are there. Oh my god! He's out of his chair. <laughs> I hope he doesn't resign. I hope he does not tilt and resign. He needs to keep going here now. That is so crazy because we know him as the cool, calming voice of internet video compilations. But this man ain't cool and calm right now. There might be holes in that room. I mean, there might his stuff might be out the window. I don't know if he's still in Norway. He's going to get a <laughs> cleaning fee on the Airbnb. I mean, my goodness, he needs to reset. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Right as he did the hand wipe. Wow. I mean, this was... It almost looked scripted how good this was. He's back now, though. And I just hope he has five minutes. He's got a lot of time on the clock. He just really needs to get through this mistake and still try to win. Push the pawn, push the king, push everything you have, and don't resign. Wow, that is... Unbelievable. What a moment. Do we have volume on him? I kind of want to hear what he's saying. I, I, I don't know. I don't. That's <laughs> what so he's saying all sorts of stuff. Oh my goodness. But, but Anna, I'm, wow. tell, Anna, I'm telling you, this game is not over because no, to, no, no. to win this, white needs to bring the king like to these squares. <gasps> Just as long as he doesn't okay. make king e3. Like, like, oh, yeah, like this is not over. Anna, this is not over. King here. This is not over. King here. Take here. 
Oh, he's lost it! King to D3 is one! He's gonna take the pawn and then C2 is, is game over! Oh my god, you have to go- No! C2! No, Daily no, Dose is back to going, winning! He's going the to only win chance, the Anna, the only chance. King B3, Rook F3, and somehow he hangs his pawns. Unbelievable. I called it. C2, C2, come on. Here we go. It's gonna be a queen. It's it's queening. Just don't go. D1 is a queen. Yeah, D1 is a queen. That's it. Oh god. Anna. Oh god. The only plot twist remaining is if he will stale stalemate because he plays too fast. Okay. He's taking the pawns. He's gonna make another queen. I mean he cannot. He knows the ladder checkmate. I can't I don't think there's no way there's a stalemate here. Jarvis right? had to get rid of his pawn. There's no way to stalemate. Oh. Uh there's gonna be a ladder. I think he's coming here. Yeah, and and that's just gonna be game over. Queen takes, and then he's gonna do it. Yeah, queen takes, and it's over. And now the checkmate. Oh my god, it's over. Wow, Daily Dose. he wins the game. Daily, Daily Dose with multiple walk-offs. We have seen more of this dresser and wall in this vague place that he is than we have of him. And <laughs> after one game of one of the most chaotic matches I have ever seen. It is one to nothing daily dose of internet, and it's one to nothing of our like local uh, meditating tea. Like I mean, we we're gonna all need some chamomile tea after that because that was. <sighs> I'm out of words, Levy. I don't even know what to say. My heart it hasn't pumped like this like ever. Like I have not experienced this before. This was absolutely insane. The plot twist one thought will never happen happen in this game. And I don't even think Daily Dose believes that he won the game. Like, th th yeah, this, uh, this is incredible. And Jarvis looked so calm throughout the whole game. I was, I, I honestly, like, I, I feel as though nothing, uh, I mean, none of them thought that they were going to win that game at any point. Jarvis was so negative throughout the game, even though he was doing super well. And then, uh, yeah. and then, and, and then, oh my goodness, that was, um, wow. That, that was, that was sensational. And, and Daily Dose <laughs> falling out of his chair on multiple occasions, right after he dusted his hands off and then hung his rook in one move. But you know the funny thing, Lavi, is that in this match, they were like polar opposites. Like, Jarvis was being very negative about his moves, but then Daily Dose, he was the opposite. He was very confident. And then it just clashed. I mean, then we just had a mix of chaos. But that's how it all started. That That is how it all started. Uh, what, what an absolutely ridiculous back and forth battle. And yeah, Jarvis, cool, calm, and collected. He's, uh, he, he is a, uh, he, he, he's, he, I mean, he's cool as a cucumber and he doesn't give himself enough credit. No, he should have given himself more credit. He played a really good game. Um, but it was just at the very end, he had it all the way until the end, you know, if he just brought the King back, but it was tough. It was, uh, it was tough. It was tough. And, and, and that's life. I mean, that's how it goes. You know, like I, I had a feeling when he lost the Rook, it was not over. Two connected pass pawns. You had mentioned it. Uh, it's uh, it's it, they roll by themselves. Yeah, it is. It, it is wild. Um, we have game number two. <laughs> I wish they could play a best of four. Uh, F four. There it is. Now, did Jarvis study the gambit that Sapnap played? That would be gangster. He did not. He plays. He plays this and 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 yeah, daily dose not. Not discouraged by the gambit that Sabnap played. No, no, not at all. I mean, Daily Dose plays this this opening pretty much every game. I've only seen playing the bird. I don't really know how it started because it's typically not the first opening you learn in chess, but he loves the bird. And I'm sure Jarvis has prepared this because it's literally pretty much the only thing that Daily Dose plays. But now we have this little formation of pawns in the center and it does look pretty solid. But I like here that Jarvis can always have his knight going to e4. There's no pawn that will... Okay, I thought he was going to take with the pawn and then <laughs> everything that I said just would not matter. But he took with the queen and it still applies. Yeah, now it's kind of like a stone wall. Uh, this looks good for white, but you aren't really supposed to trade your light squared bishop so easily. Just as long as you plug this, so knight d2, uh, then knight e5. And 
again, I, I, I'm, I'm describing what you're supposed to do. Uh, but you know, Daily Dose is, uh, is his own man, and he, uh, he, he will do whatever he wants. Maybe he'll play G4, G5. I, but you're supposed to stop this, put this here, Rook F3, Rook H3, and checkmate. But you know, he'll probably play that or something because he, he does what he wants. So we'll see. We'll see what his next move is going to be. I have absolutely no predictions whatsoever, but I do know what you are supposed to do in the position. Okay, well, not bad. Okay, C3, very solid chest. This is very different from the previous game. I feel like soon we need to see some of that daily dose uh, spice, you know? Bringing up all his pieces, going full on aggressive towards the king. But maybe that was just his prep for game number one with the black pieces. Maybe now he's just going for the draw. <laughs> he, he, he did, in fact, play the move before. Um, <laughs> you, you are supposed to go in this direction. Oh! Okay, we are we are just playing over here now. B five is going to push the knight back, uh, and um, I just it just hit me why he plays the way he plays with black. It's because he kind of does the same thing with white. Yeah, it's always the same kind of formation. <laughs> yeah, it, it's much worse with black because you fall behind in development and you have no space. But it's basically the same thing. What it, it's fine. I mean, now Jarvis doesn't have a lot of space. The knight went back. He's going to have to uh, develop his knight going knight d7, knight b6 maybe. But this, I feel like, can be very annoying to play uh, um, against this black because you don't really have any break. You can't go e5. You don't really have any clear plan here, I feel like, as black. It can be very difficult to know sometimes what to do. And now bishop a3, just trending that bad bishop for, for black's pretty good dark squared bishop. Absolutely. Although at this level, I think it was mostly like, can I go here? It's a fair trade. Uh, it must be a good move. But yes, exactly. Like that's in the Stonewall, you have a problem bishop. And uh, the problem bishop is the dark squared bishop. So probably we will get this or queen b5. That's fine. Now this pawn is hanging and uh, daily dose has the amount of time that he started with. So he is very <laughs> confident this game. I think it's always very confident. Um, and I think actually that in many of these games, it is really good to be confident. You kind of need it in some of these games, I think. He's too confident. But oh, in this case, it's going to pay off. Last game, he was also very confident. And that 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 didn't work out. And then it did work out. And then it didn't work out. And, and yeah, now queen takes b7 is a clean free pawn. It could get worse very quickly because the knight defends the bishop, which is being attacked. I can't draw arrows, which is being attacked by that bishop. And then if the knight moves and white takes the bishop, then white attacks the queen and the rook, and then you're going to take the rook, and then we do a whole little... It could get ugly very quickly, you know? Queen takes b7, if Jarvis is not careful, it could get ugly very quickly. Yes, although I am confused what Daily Dose is thinking about, because I thought this entire plan was designed to take this pawn, but <gasps> he, he, he surprises me sometimes, so... <laughs> She is a box full of surprises, you know, but that's what brings the excitement. And you will never know what the surprise is because he's wearing sunglasses that make us not be able to see his eyes. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're very, very cool sunglasses. And by the way, after 13 moves of both sides, the accuracy is 94% to 92%. Uh, not after that move, but it's 93% to 92%. <laughs> uh, that's a very high accuracy to be honest and i think okay he didn't take the pawn in b7 which he probably should have but he's developing his knight which is not a bad move either he had to develop it at some point and then maybe he'll bring in the rooks maybe rook off b1 and just get a big battery on that b file yes best thing now for black is to just get rid of this bishop and then move the queen and white could blunder the rook i mean maybe Maybe not. This is the this is of course one of the higher rated matchups of the consolation bracket. Now queen e seven is a nice move, or queen d six, both attacking the rook. Yeah, he should try it. I like queen e seven because then the pawn on b seven is not hanging anymore. But sometimes taking the pawn on b seven can also lead to your queen being trapped. So he could also try to set up queen d six and then hope that uh, daily dose takes the pawn on b seven. There it is. There it is. Queen c7, now maybe a rook b3, or maybe a pawn move, or it's a very tense game. It is a very tense game, but the queen goes back. Okay, uh, he didn't he didn't want his queen to be there, but I thought that the trip to the b-file was a very short-lived trip. Agreed, b7 is hanging in some lines, but now we're not gonna, that, we need a new plan. And I, I, I'm assuming his plan is to go here. I, I, I'm, I'm guessing, now, it doesn't quite work because black can play h6, but then you could maybe attack. But I have learned over time that daily dose is not to be predicted. And you just sort of let him lead the way. 
and then you talk about it. That's that's sort of how you night G four. Okay, wow. So now night G five will do everything Daily does wanted it to do, which is to threaten checkmate in one. I feel like oh he's going H three first. Maybe he's gonna go G four, and he's gonna start an attack over there. I really hope not. Uh, but but yes, one of the problems with moving the knight here is you need to be ready for just getting kicked out. So. Beginners, y'all should stop just moving your knights to the edges, because if your opponent can just play h3, like, it doesn't actually do you any favors. Anna predicts g4. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I think g4 is going to happen. I mean, I feel like it's, like, 70-30 odds that it's g4 or another move. I still think he'll play knight g5, but, but like I said, I mean, he could continue here. He could push a pawn. He has, like, 10 moves in this position that maintain the evaluation. So I, I, I really have no... He could play f5 which is a move. I could be pretty good at five. I mean, kind of just breaking that pawn chain, but I still think G4, I think it's looking at G4 and it feels, oh, okay, I take that back. Wow, he is looking at the opposite side. He wants to go back to the B file, which is weird because he he literally just left the B file. Oh, the Rook is hanging. Oh my goodness, that was <gasps> sneaky. Oh, he will try to take the pawn maybe and then the Rook will hang. Yeah, but this you move... It? But this move gets out of that danger, and now there's two things attacking that pawn, and that pawn is almost not guardable. So this is very, very, very tricky. It's a high-risk, high-reward move, I feel like, Queen D6, but I think it's good that Jarvis is going for the tricks. Why did he... Yeah, what was... He seemed very upset. Was that What was that reaction? Did he almost blunder the rook? Is that what happened? Like, did he... Is he just beside himself because... What, I'm sorry. Why is he upset? What is going on? Why is, he, is he shaking his head? Is he shaking his head because he almost went here and hung the rook? We don't actually know. No, we have no idea why, but the position still seems fine. He hasn't. I'm, there we go. He played the best move. And I like somebody in the chat said he's emoting. He just, <laughs> just, just did like one of his like seven emotes and he just did a little, oh my God. Um, wow. Wow. All right. well, that's a fantastic move, though. I mean, that was the best move in the position. He has everything under control. And this time, he's actually been thinking a little bit more. Look at that. Seven and a half minutes. We're not seeing a 10-minute game where he still has, like, the starting time. No, he's taking his sweet time to think about some good moves. Exactly right. Uh, a very natural move by Black, after you realize that defending this with the pawn is hopeless, is to defend it with the knight. And that move is regarded very poorly by the computer because it gets in the way of the rooks, and for the temporary uh, pleasure of not losing this pawn, you just begin to get steamrolled. And white very quickly activates all of their pieces. And knight here, and knight here, and this is just very, very bad. So I still think it might be played because it's so natural. But long term, it causes some problems. And there it is. There it is. There it is. He really wanted to keep the pawn. And I understand this. And the question is, is that the best practical move to just not let daily those come in with the rooks? Is it... Uh, okay. it, it, it's definitely the best move for this level because neither one of them knows that it's plus 1.5 due to positional advantage of white having more space and using pawn breaks to get into the position. Uh, like C4 is the critical move. If, if white plays C4, he's in great shape, but knight E5 is good and all these different moves are good, but white is only better because of the space advantage and the pressure on the B pawn. So... I still think, Levy, that we're going to see G4 soon. I'm still calling for G4. I feel like he's going to bring up his knight to E5. He's going to go G4, and he's going to try to take as much space as possible on the king side. You don't think so? I don't think so. I, I, I have a feeling he is a reformed man. I have a feeling <laughs> the last game taught him not to be too arrogant. He's going to focus on one side of the board. He's not going to open up too many problems. This is his redemption arc. He's a positional chess player, beautiful move. Knight to e5, applying the pressure, turning the screw. Very nice. Now he's not playing no g4, g4, g5 is, is amateur stuff. And Daily Dose is no amateur. No, he is no amateur, but g4, g5 does look like it's pressuring the king side quite a lot, whilst the queen and the rooks are disconnected. I mean, I don't know. I'm calling for it. I know it's not not good, but I I think it might happen. Chat, do you think he's gonna play that too? What are, what are you thinking, Chat? No chance. I don't think he's playing G4. The problem is not what he's playing. The pro the problem is what is Jarvis playing? I mean that 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 is really the struggle here. Oh, <gasps> C4! I take it back, 
daily dose is a positional grandmaster. Oh my god, he's using a pawn break to get peace activity, and if his opponent doesn't take, he just plays c5, and suddenly the c pawn is no longer an, a weakness, it's an asset, taking space away, c5, march him oh. down, eat the pawns, eat the pawns, and go! And the pawn just... is pinned, I mean, c5, c6, pawn cannot take, because then the rook is hanging. Yup. And it's on the board. Oh my goodness! The, wow. the 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 cobra is tightening its grip. This is crazy stuff. And soon G4 could become useful to remove the knight from the defense of the rook. So now you like G4, Levy? Now you're praising my move, G4? I I I, I you know uh, it was good in in certain moments, uh, but uh, bad in other moments. G G4 was there, there wasn't anything super wrong with it. But knight D7. Would be the move that I would play now. Knight d7 actually loses to queen b5, but at that level, that's very hard to spot. Uh, yeah, for it, sure. It forces like if if you get this trade, it helps a lot. But white should still go here. And um, so far, this is a masterclass in how to handle a locked position and focus on one side of the board. This is like expert stuff. Honestly, I'm intrigued to see the accuracy from Daily Dose because this game he's played so well. By far, his best game of the tournament, I think super amazing game so far i don't want to jinx it i i don't want him to blunder at rook somehow uh later on in the game but great game so far by the way rook a8 like jarvis just and again this is all a result of the what, yo now why are you gonna move the king what is he gonna do <laughs> oh but jarvis reacts and jarvis overreacts and now rook a6 is just winning a pawn anna yeah the the pawn is now it's totally fine <laughs> what what why did he get his king involved? He, this is such I, disrespect. The king could just walk up the board. His position is so good. He wanted to get all his pieces in the attack. I mean. Oh my goodness, this man is a, is a madman. Queen a6 is winning a pawn. Just a, just a completely free pawn. He can just take it. Okay, he misses it. Now, now, now black could start getting out of there. I, I do have a little bit worried about that king on f2. I mean, it was just so nice and safe on g1. <laughs> there was no reason for it to be moved up. Oh, th th wow. this is not over. Knight, you could accidentally take, fork, lose this pawn, and suddenly black's queen is getting in, and, and you really regret moving the king here. I mean, knight e4 after that, uh, that would be so incredibly clutch. Daily Dose has one final moment. If he takes... Oh, no, the knight can go to b4 now. Oh, no. <gasps> Beautiful now block over there. Oh God, and and this king is wide open. I don't know why this man brought this king out here. Uh, <laughs> that king could get hit with a million different flying objects. It's crazy. Oh God, what wow. a game! Wow, it was the most unexpected move as well. You know, I thought he was using all of these other pieces, but no, he he wanted to use the king as well. Like we said, they oh. So that move is point. losing after rook here, but it's still not over. It's still not over, and it's totally losable. For example, rook b7, queen c8, rook f7, knight e5, and the rook loses a guard. But can you not just take the pawn on e4, which is an easier move, and just be much better? Uh, yes. I did not see that. <laughs> but neither did he! No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that still looks pretty good. I mean, rook b6 is going for the a6 pawn now again. He could take it earlier, but now he's going for it again. But a lot of pawns are hanging here. Yeah. I did not see queen e4. That's crazy. Uh, but but you know what? If I didn't see it and, and like you didn't see the fork last game, you know, we, they, they didn't, maybe, maybe we're in the clear. Um, he's got to go here. Knight b4 is still the best move to defend this and disconnect these pieces. And then f6 is the key. If he gets f6, removing the knight, rotates his queen, it's anybody's game. Oh, but this is stressful. He's taken. Now fe, got to be the best move. Got to take toward the center. Don't remove the defense over here. No, no, really important. And he does it, even F6. if the king is opening up. And yeah, f6 is, is, is the shot. But you know what? The thing is that people tell you never play f6. So it, he, Jarvis could have it in, great, in his brain. No. It's over. No. He just, he just, miscal he just miscounted. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. it's over. It's also a checkmate. It's also a checkmate. Daily Dose brushes his shoulders off. Dude, he is going full heel. I mean, he is fist pumping, 2-0, and 
Daily Dose, take <laughs> I mean, my God, who is this guy? He he's becoming the villain of PogChamps. <laughs> I mean, this is incredible also because he did end up in the brackets. Uh, he finished with zero points, but now he's just coming for the redemption. Look at that. Wow. 2 0. Game is over. Consolation quarterfinals or second match. Daily Dose with a very convincing second game. Uh, the first game was, uh, was Chaos Unleashed, but he had control of uh, a majority of the game. That was that that was a that was a very very fun round. Uh, we're gonna try to get some player interviews. Jarvis is great on the mic, so you know we we'll see if we have the time. Uh, and uh, that I'd be the what, what, what more can I say? That was a tremendous amount of fun. Shall we take a look at the bracket? Uh, Let's now do that we it. Have two quarterfinal matchups done. Squeaks moving on to the semis. Daily dose as well. Squeaks awaits the winner of virtual versus Saikuno. And Daily Dose of Internet awaits the winner of uh, Cutie Cinderella and Ginny. And I, this is a small correction from earlier because A, B do not play A, B. So A, B play like C, D and, and, and so on. That's how it works. We, we mix everybody. So there's a small correction. Uh, these two players will not play each other. They're still awaiting opponents. That was a lot of fun, Anna. Uh, maybe, maybe not for Jarvis, but um, on the other side of things, we have Daily Dose of Internet and uh, he was victorious. We are going to get him for an interview. We're gonna ask him hard-hitting questions such as, why did you put on sunglasses? Why did you become the villain of the event? And uh, did it hurt when you fell out of the chair? Don't go anywhere. An interview with Daily Dose of Internet on the other side of this short break. I'm Grandmaster Anish Kiri and welcome to Latvian Repertoires 24. The so-called Latvian Gambit is horrible, a5, knight xe5. This is not how chess is played. He played too many moves with pawns and the queen um, and didn't develop his light pieces. And if knight e4, this is a very important trick to remember. Many people fall for it actually. Knight to b5, brilliant ID, a b and queen g7, and after rook f8, bishop h6 c5 and f3 and surprisingly queen f2 is almost checkmate but it's not if your opponent wants to be solid we go for uh, aggressive for the kill if your opponent wants us to go for the kill we play simple chess and just use the fact that we have more space in the center clear-cut plans and uh, nothing uh, to worry about
Welcome back, everyone, to our coverage of Pac Champs 5. We've just been watching this crazy matchup between Daily, Dose of Internet, and Jarvis. And then we see that we, we, that's all we get. We just get the walk off, the empty room. Oh, he's back. And uh, I think we're going to get the second reaction. There we go. Look at that. The peace sign. And we're lucky enough to be joined by Mr. Go and dust your shoulders off. Brush your shoulders off. What did JC, what Jay-Z say? Sunglasses. Daily Dose, welcome to the show. Congrats on your first win. Uh, and uh, how does it feel? How are you feeling right now? Talk, talk to us about the whole thing. What are we seeing here? Is this a rejuvenated Daily Dose of Internet? You know, here's the situation. People think I'm wearing these sunglasses because I want to look cool. No, I wore them because I didn't want people to see me cry when I lose. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Wow. This, this is uh, but a, here we go. This is an epic but here's the thing. But here's the, also, here's the other thing. I can die with style. That, that, wait, that was it? <laughs> I thought, I thought yeah. there was more. <laughs> no, no, that's it. Like you know, if I'm gonna die, if I, I'm gonna you know go to my go to my own funeral, I want to at least look pretty cool. You know, they look I, great on you. They look really good on you, to be honest. Gotta say that. I, yeah, we, I was we were, I. I thought it was to psych out your opponents. I didn't realize it was it, it was for the other stuff. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I heard uh, I'm I'm not Norwegian, but the Norwegians told me that if I buy these sunglasses, I officially become uh, uh, I get Norwegian citizenship. I'm a, I'm officially a Norwegian. That's what I was told. Oh. Well, th that also means you're a member of the EU. You could now you could become a Schengen citizen, right? Like you can yeah. just you can go anywhere. Yeah. And you well, will you become amazing at chess because Norwegians are so good at chess. True, true. You know, here's the thing. Um, that first game uh, where I screwed up with the rook there, that was a misclick. That was 100% a misclick. I, I, that's why I was so mad. I, I just put yeah. my, my rook too far. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we, 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 we did realize that uh, that, that had occurred. Uh, also, the <laughs> chat is telling me that Norway is not in the European... What? It's not, Lavi. I, I didn't know if I wanted to break it to you, but you seemed so happy about it, so I just let it go. <laughs> what? Why is Norway not in the... Is Sweden? Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> I did not know that. Why are they not... Okay, whatever. I'm not even going to get into that right now. I I learned something today. Uh, yeah, yeah, Daily Dose, that, that second game, though. Man, you played it like 92%. You got you the exact so setup. Good. Yes, you got the setup you wanted. You you squeezed them like a snake squeezes its victims. I mean, it was it was a crazy, crazy game. Like what? That was that was a wild, wild performance. And did we just not get to see the side of you because because of, of the group you were in? That's what we've been discussing. No, no. Yeah, the the group I was in was stacked. Like everyone is so good, yes. and I I played well against everyone. Um, and like I, I kept it close against everyone, and I made like two dumb mistakes early on. So like. I feel like I should be a lot better than I actually am, but whatever. Can I just say, Daily Dose, I agree with you. Your group was so good. It was by far the hardest group. And, you know, I'm, I'm sorry that you got put in, in the hardest group because you were playing very well in all of the games. Um, so it was unfortunately that, or I'm fortunate that you were put there. Yeah. yeah. You think uh, uh, that after this, that you're going to be like the winner of the consolation bracket? Like, do you see yourself winning the whole thing? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, because uh, who who did I play last time? I played... Um, uh, I don't know who I played last time, but um, I think he's going to beat me. Um, it begins with a W. Oh, virtual? Virtual? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, here's the good news. Your next opponent is either Cutie Cinderella or, or, or Ginny. Uh, do you do you know either of them? I, you know, you were at the Streamer Awards organized by Cutie. Like, do you have a scouting report? Who would you rather play uh, and why? I, I'm i just happy to be there. I don't really care. I'm just happy to be there. Um, I, the fact that I actually won a game, I thought I was going to go this whole like, tournament without winning a single game. And I, but I'm just happy I won. And it's so crazy because when I won that, when I won that game, it said, you won. I was like, whoa, that actually <laughs> happened. Well, um, listen, winning a game, it, it, it builds confidence. It's, it's addicting. Uh, I was comparing you to a fighter that had three setbacks and people think, oh, like he's not going to win. And then you come back a rejuvenated, super, super dominant performance against probably one of the best players in the consolation bracket. Like he was really, really good and he was resilient in these games. And the good news for you is that if you win your next match, you probably guarantee a rematch 
And you could literally 1v1 IRL virtual because that's what's going to happen oh. in LA. Does that excite you? Like, is that, a, you know, you, you just punch him if you want. I don't know if you're a... No, don't punch him. <laughs> I've, ne I've, I've never thrown a punch in my life. So I don't know. Well, chess boxing, you know, it, I mean, we that we could always arrange that. In any case, it will be an IR, it will be a 1v1 IRL. I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, be the chess fight promoter, if you will. I, I'm looking forward to your redemption arc because I knew... I, I knew you were not the performance in the group. I'm very excited for you. And today was a really, really good example of that. Yeah, thank thank you. Did you like my, my ramming speed set up there? I had the queen and the rook going. I thought I was just gonna ram straight through there. So I don't know. I don't know what to call uh, it. I call it ramming speed. I don't know. Uh it, you could call it whatever you want. I mean it's called a battery, but you were <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like the multiple multiple times Anna and I would say oh like this is an idea and then you know but it's a little it, for this level it's a little too hard then you would play it and we'd be like oh shit oh my god so very well done that second game was like a 92 percent accuracy I mean it, it was, was amazing it really was really? I just need to I, I ask would... you yeah what? no sorry go on I was just gonna ask you the one move me and Lavi didn't understand it was the only move in the whole two matches that we didn't understand king f2 what were you trying to do with the king i'm not smart enough to know what that means i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> well you brought the king up one step <laughs> do you remember oh, that oh, so the, in the so second the, game yeah, yeah so the reason why i brought that king up because i thought he was going to try and bring his knight down and so i wanted to have another piece there that could potentially take out the knight um because if, if you look like I didn't know where he was gonna play that night, so it should, I just thought it'd be good, good and healthy to bring that uh, king up. Okay, okay, awesome. Yeah, you played so well. I mean, everyone in the constellation bracket should be terrified of playing you. That was amazing. Good job on this match. Yeah, thank you. Seriously, man, appreciate Great it. Great stuff. We will see you in a couple of days uh, once we determine who your opponent is going to be. Congrats on the on, on the big win, and please come back in the sunglasses. Yes. Please. Sounds good. I'll They're have, amazing. I'll have to do it. <laughs> amazing. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye. See you. See you. Uh, bye. That's that was a very very fun match, Anna. We've got now two of our four semifinalists in the consolation bracket there up on your screen, and I was going to sign off that interview by saying that was your daily dose of internet, but I was too embarrassed because he was still in the call with us. Uh, but that was in fact your daily dose of internet. Uh, Anna, we're going to take a short break, and then we've got one last matchup of the day. We've played a couple of matches in the Constellation bracket. Now it's time for the champions of PogChamps 5 to go to battle, and we will be kicking it off with Ghastly, the winner of Group B, the Group of Death, versus Frank, the runner-up of Group A, but everybody's favorite TikTok chess sensation. Don't go anywhere. PogChamps 5 will resume with the championship bracket in just a few minutes.
I do love chess. Since we're winning, boys, why don't we celebrate with a glass of wine? Nine o'clock somewhere in the world, am I right? Come on, we did it! That's how I come! Let's go! Oh, baby! Wow. Boom. That was amazing. I loved that. We need yeah. to play with our emotions Boom. just for a second. Wow. Yes! Let's go! Yes! Yes! It's garbage at chess. It is the unstoppable forever. I will f you up in real life. Are we gonna allow him to embarrass production like this? Dude, you're not serious. Can't wait to see you, Dallas. Welcome back, everyone, to coverage of Pog Champs 5. It is time now for our main event of the evening, morning, afternoon, wherever we are. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be Gasly versus Frank. It, it has been a great day so far with some very, very fun moments. And we are very excited uh, to showcase two awesome talents from the championship bracket. Anna, how how much of a how much do you know about these players? Like, what have you uh, what have you? I followed? know that I know that Gastly is just better than his rating. That's all I know about Gastly. And then Frank. Well, I mean, everyone knows Frank, but I think few people know Frank as good as you do, Levy. You've been coaching Frank quite a bit. I I, I have. I'm sort of like a you know I'm a, I'm a distant uh, guru giving advice. Just a quick reminder uh, on all that. Uh, that was that that was the championship bracket. It it, it doesn't matter. There's no matchups done yet. We'll take a look at it later when the matchup is finished. I um, I I do know Frank well, and uh, he. <clears throat> I think today the big question is going to be Frank's cheekiness and explosiveness versus and experience because he has played a lot of games versus Gasly's uh, maturity. Like he 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 has been a grinder, and uh, we see him there that 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 doesn't necessarily demonstrate <laughs> demonstrate his maturity but that's a celebration there um but he is able to sit qu and there's a cartwheel that that right there that's that's the that, <laughs> they did not choose a clip that supplemented my words but they chose the clip before I said anything you know this clip has been there so I probably should have just that was that's my fault that's the commentator's curse right there uh wow it is still going and he he is on the ground there uh he he um he's an American DJ and producer he's played at many many festivals he's played nearly uh, 2,000 games, I think, at this point on chess.com. Uh, and uh, I thought they would remove that last bullet point when I asked it. But you know what? It's fine. No, don't. I'm just I'm just kidding. He has a great coach, and that is why he was the winner of the group of death. Uh, he actually beat uh, both of our students. You know, I, I, I considered Sapnap a protege, and uh, you considered Virtual, and Gasly was the one that went up top, and, and there he is. And did he change his hair color since last night? He did. He does not look the way he did the other day. Didn't he have brown Hair, dark brown hair. Did he go blonde? Yeah, wow, a new look. There you go. Life of a producer and a DJ. That's what happens. One day you wake up and you got cool and, and light hair and it's good and looking good. And um, he, he put out a tweet. Your boy just won three consecutive chess matches in a row in the Pog Champs tournament and is now a finalist. I just picked up chess seven months ago. I'm competing for the $100,000 first prize. What the F pawn is life? Great question indeed asking the right questions. And uh, we've also got a little, ro uh, we're gonna roll a little thing for uh, for Frank, because he's, he's his opponent. And uh, <clears throat> this was the moment that he checkmated Saikuno. Didn't even know that it was his uh, his victory there. He um, he won that game by taking literally all of Saikuno's pieces into Vienna. Again, we've talked about Frank extensively. I think he's also got even more views than that now. A self-described future grandmaster with a thousand chess games on chess.com. Uh, and here he is on stream. And Anna, today you and I are going to play a game, which is count the amount of seconds between Frank says anything. And I think the high score is about one and a half seconds. He I do believe you, Levy. I really do believe you. I've seen a lot of Frank interviews. I've seen a lot of Frank playing chess. And it is, to me, some of the most entertaining chess out there. I'm very excited to see this. Um, I'm very excited as well. Like I said, it will be a matchup of, of Gastly. Like, you know, seven months ago is when he learned chess. I think the same for Frank, by the way. It was January. It was February. It was cold in New York. And one day I'm scrolling on TikTok and I see a, 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 a loud British teenager just screaming, screaming 
and 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 pre-moving and i go who is this guy and a week later hikaru was reacting to him <clears throat> two weeks later he was doing a chess lesson with me months later he, you know i i commentated on one of his matches uh, that he played versus uh, another tiktok chess player named orbital racer and there was twenty thousand live viewers like no embeds Twenty thousand people were in the chat. My chat had never moved that fast, uh, and it was it was it was incredible stuff. It was incredible stuff, and he he's just taken the world of chess by storm. So we'll see if he can keep it up today, or if the if the DJ, if the producer, if the musician is uh, is going to get the job done. I don't know. On paper, Frank is the favorite, but Gasly has been an absolute machine in this event. Absolutely. I totally agree with you. It seems like Gasly, is he getting a little bit ready? I thought he was doing some stretches or something there to get ready, but I am very excited about this match. The first championship bracket match. It's going to be absolutely amazing to see what happens. Can I ask you, Levy, what is Frank's biggest weakness in chess? Himself. Um, Frank's biggest weakness is, is literally just himself. Uh, he, none of his opponents can actually beat him. The only reason that Frank ever loses is because of himself. Uh, if Frank stuck to the principles a bit more, and if he just yelled a little bit less, he would be 2,700. But unfortunately, because of those two things, he is an 800 hard stuck player. Uh, we do still cheer for him, and we hope he can, you know, he can overcome himself. But, but n n there is not a single player on the planet who can defeat Frank if Frank is uh, a little bit more contained and a bit more relaxed. Not even you? No. Wow. Yep. Well, let's see if Gastly is able to do so. So we got E4, E5, Knight of 3, Knight of 6. Very normal opening. Oh, and a Spanish. Yeah, Gastly going for a little Rui Lopez. I don't know if either of them are aware of that. Uh, Frank will just play Knight F6, Bishop C5. It's going to be all normal stuff. Uh, I, I, again, I don't think they know that they're playing a Berlin defense after Knight E4, D4, Knight D6, Bishop D6, DC, D5, Knight F5, Queen D8, King D8, etc. Uh, I think, uh, you know, or we can get the famous Berlin draw. But um, I, I, I don't think we will, Levy. Not here. Maybe in the World Cup we will, but not in Pog Champs. Yeah, yeah, not not in Pog Champs. <laughs> Definitely not in Pog <laughs> Champs. Um, I don't know what the next move is going to be. I mean, Frank could see this. He, he is strong enough. Uh, you know what? Let, can we just turn on Frank's stream? I don't even want to talk. Just let Frank talk. Just, just, put, just put, put a script. Pr production, let's just. I can take a break. I can go get some tea. Oh, there is that a nice move? Go there, maybe look at a pawn. Oh, I don't know. Maybe just release the beast. You know, release the beast of the bishop. But I do want to take that pawn. That I don't know. Do I take the pawn? Do I not take the pawn? Oh, this pawn. That's the real question. Do I take it? Do I not? Do I take the pawn? Or do I you're not leaving, take Lavi. the pawn? The pawn is the real question. Because we've got some pros and cons here. Pros. Wait, what's the diff? I don't know the difference between pros and cons. But there is a difference between them. Wait, is con cons is bad. Cons are win a pawn. Pros are win a pawn. I don't really know. Oh, the sorry. Did he still not that. move? <laughs> no, he did not, Levy. Yeah, I've been I taking some so stretches as well. Him. I wonder, have you not taught him this? I mean, does he know what I he's going to do there. here? I told you. I told you. Frank. Right here. Okay, boom. I go Let's just there. let him keep talking. Oh. Oh. Okay. I just... Okay. Do I take that pawn? I might, I do want to release the bish, okay. You know what, let's I'm, I'm sending Frank my book when it's out. Take the pawn, but okay, okay, let, let's, let's, the pawn, you know. let's bring it back, let's bring, no bring it back. He, he just spent a minute and a half okay, developing a bishop. I, I don't even, anyway, as I said, Frank is his own worst enemy. Frank is like, he, he's like a scientist that has won the highest prizes given out by the community. And he, he, he refuses to get out of bed because he can't think of, of, of the difference in the physical mechanics of the advantages and disadvantages to his body of stepping on the floor first with the right foot or the left foot. So he just lays in bed for hours. Like Frank, Frank is a, is a brilliant man. We just don't quite understand how and why.
Okay. I can see that. Yeah, he seems to really not be able to decide. But now he's playing a little bit fast. Well, no, not not really. He's probably going to take his sweet time here too. Um, but you know, he's a perfectionist. Lavi, he wants to find the best move in the position. And that is admirable. Yeah. It it it, it is. Um, the good news is that uh that that you know, he has been finding some very good moves. Uh Gastly took his knight and then won his pawn because uh <laughs> Glassly, that's a, that would be a cool name, uh, because Gastly's very practical. He just sees a free pawn. Uh, Frank could do the same. But it's very it, that is the best move, but it, but it is very scary because Queen E2 is very powerful. Nice way to lose is to just go Knight F6, Knight C6, discovered attack, and uh, Gastly will find that. I hope Frank castles. Um, and, and you mentioned, have I taught Frank this? Uh, you know, he he knows. Like I said, he he knows all the stuff. Like the stuff is in the brain, but. That, you know, that's not an unreasonable move, but the move d4 is very strong. Okay, just don't take with the queen. Like, I taught him, you know, don't take, you know, because you're going to get your... Uh-oh. Is this a risk? See? He... <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Yes. Um, do, do... Oh, he castled. Oh! Oh, wow. But now the pawn is... is... Now it's defendable. He can go d3, defend the pawn, and now he's got it. Yep. Two pawn... Uh, he's going to be two pawns in the center and one pawn up. Uh, but that's just a pawn, and at this level, that makes absolutely no difference. Um, no, but I, I like his development, though. Like, d3, bishop g5, getting that bishop, pinning the knight, and then maybe you can even try to push that e-pawn, you know? And develop all your pieces. So it feels like a very nice and natural position, or you can go d4, I guess, yeah, which d might be even better. d4 is not bad at all, just don't go here and get forked. Uh, the, Frank doesn't blunder a lot of these things because he, he's made all those blunders early in his career. Like, that's how you have to play chess. I mean, you, you have to have a lot of mistakes and you have to get them all out and then, you know, you're not going to be taking stuff like this. Uh, so he's definitely going to go bishop b6 or rook to d8, which is very tricky. He's, de he, you know, bishop b4 is... But he's not going to go here because he sees e5 and because e5 is... And they're, they're, they're my man, my man. There proving me right, proving me right. Nice, nice, nice. But Gas is looking very, very, very focused. I think he's going to push that pawn e5 um, and just keep it. Yeah, best move. Yep. And there now, we go. you know, maybe Frank will go out to g4 and, and, and then it's still game on. Well, just knight d5, though, you could get overwhelmed with pawns, so you have to be careful. Yeah, no, absolutely. Knight g4, but then the knight doesn't have that many places to go to either if it starts getting kicked out, right? I mean, you don't want to go back to h6 with the knight because then it's going to get picked up and the king will get super weak. So you got to be careful with what, where you go with the knight right here. And I will play devil's advocate and I will say that even if something like that happens, which is definitely the best thing for white to do, you never know because all of a sudden black is going to checkmate you on the g file because it's bog champs and that's where crazy stuff happens. Um, let's. I want to see that. That would be really fun to see. I want to see that. Let, let, let's check in on Gastly, uh, who is talking a lot less and perhaps using his words a, a bit more effectively uh, and efficiently. Knight to c3 probably isn't the best move. I think I would probably go to... I would want to develop my bishop first. If so, it is not a banger. Yo, this song is fire, though. Pick that knight. The song, He's vibing right now. Yeah, the song is indeed fire, as the kids say. <laughs> do you not say fire, Lavi? No, of course I say. What? Uh, do, you don't think I'm hip with the lingo of, 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 of the youngins? <laughs> uh, <laughs> not the way you're speaking right I now. I mean, no. <laughs> listen, listen. I, I am mad cool, as the kids say. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. Not the mad back. cool, Lavi. <laughs> I no, it's it's let's 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 bring it back real quick. I kind of want to analyze as Gastly has moved his rook. This is um the computer is kind of a scumbag in this instance. It's uh it's saying a plus three advantage, but uh but that's only because of like weird expansions on this side of the board. And if Gastly just plays regular moves like knight c3, all his advantage will disappear very quickly because black will go here and then here and then here and then c5. So it's still very, very competitive. No, absolutely. I mean, I think that the evil ball right now, it's not really representing what's truly happening on the board. And we could see that Gastly wanted to play knight c3, which does look like a very natural move. So this really could turn around at any moment. Um, I, I really think so. Gastly also wanted to go here, which doesn't even... That Okay, he, he developed a bishop. 
I don't hate that move at all. Again, this is such a scumbag stockfish thing to do. Like the beginner is developing his bishop and putting it on the most active square, and it's just given a fat orange question mark. Like, shut up. You don't know me. Like, what, how is this a mistake for the beginner levels? You know what I want? I want Stockfish adjusted and a setting enabled for the kind of level player it's analyzing. Wouldn't that be brilliant? If it knew that two 800s were playing, it would never give this a question mark. No, no, I agree. But I, I guess that the idea of it is that you're trying to get out of that, you know, rating. But you know what? I agree. I actually agree with you, Lavi. I think that it's very discouraging to see this big question mark on your move, which looks completely na uh, natural. So I do think that something should be done about it. Or maybe it, you just don't need the question mark. You don't need to say anything. Just let that move be. Just let that move be. Now, obviously, we're spectating, so we see that. The players don't. Like, Frank did not... Gasly did not play this move and get hit with the question mark. Cause can you imagine like mid game, you're getting insulted. I mean, like your, your parents do that when they take you to, you know, soccer or football practice, they just yell at you, shoot, shoot, you know, but like stockfish, you can't see cause you'd be cheating. Anyway, we're going to check in on Frank now. Sorry. So, you know, <laughs> buckle up. <laughs> okay. I'm making that move. I'm making that move. Oh, why is my time so bad? I'm down to under five minutes already. Dear Lord, dear Lord. Okay, I want to go there and threaten that. Oh, this could be nice. If if he leaves that rook where it is, I can go threaten. Oh, okay. We need to pull my rook over as well. I did not notice that night. Oh, goodness me. Okay, boom. Maybe boom, does Frank always there. get into time trouble? Okay, go there, then I'm gonna no, go this is kind of a new phenomenon. Oh, that knight is looking okay, just checking. absolutely filthy right now. Absolutely filthy. Okay, we need to get our rook involved right here. But um, he's making sense. Okay, like, okay, okay. Everything um, he's saying boom, makes sense. I'm gonna go there. Yeah, the other day I, I watched him play and he was talking about being a duck. Uh, now I'm not hearing that anymore. Yeah, we're gonna go boom, we go there, right? Yeah. Surely, surely I go there. Oh, if Bishop moves there though. Bishop could move there. Oh, then I'll go there. Then that goes there. Mm, then Queen could get involved here. Oh, I'm seeing two... Guys, I'm scared. If I'm going to be honest, I'm a little scared of this game right here. I'm seeing an attack here on the Rook. Rook could just be threatened right there. Then I have to move back. I want to push my pawn up, put threat on that pawn there. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to push pawn there. Oh, okay. Yep. We're going to go boom. We wow. go there wrong. Put it down, Frank. Yeah, Put it we'll down, it's the best there, move. Just, we'll just wow. That's a fantastic move. Look yeah. at those chess principles. Wow, okay. let's bring it back. See, this is why we're in the champion's bracket. This is why we're in the champion's bracket. Pawn to C5, bulldozing the center. The C pawn has backup. The C pawn's got backup. The C pawn's got backup. And just like Fusli said about an hour ago, she's going for a spicy boom. And let's not tell Frank about the spicy boom because dear Lord help us. <laughs> That man is good. that man is praying right now. That man is he is going Zen mode, ghastly thinking deep in the tank. Welcome to the champions bracket. It's a fifty point gap between the players, and they are showing it. C five is an excellent move, and I think in the next few moves, if ghastly is not careful, he will end up in a worse position. The board is going to open up for these bishops, and Frank is going to be in good shape. I think so too. I think actually that Frank is coming back in a very nice way. That C5 move was amazing. And the time difference is not really that far off either. Um, so Levy, I just wanted to ask you, are you ever taking Frank to an over the board tournament? Because I really want to see that happening. I really want to see him play over the board chess. I don't know. I'm not his parent. I, I'm not going to chaperone uh, you're him. You're his but... coach, aren't you? Uh, I see you all the time coaching him. He, he, do he, he doesn't really. He doesn't ask me any questions ever. All of our coaching has been me harassing him in DMs. I'm like, Frank, you got to practice. And he's like, oh, yeah. Uh, and then, and then, and then like nothing happens. Um, I mean, I would love to take him to an over the board tournament. I think he, he's like the third most famous person in all of England. All right. There's like the prime minister, KSI and Frank. I mean, like it, seriously, he, yeah, he should do a Frank world tour. It would be incredible. Oh! I, I will watch it. Ooh! 
had to he had to play f6 he had to activate his pieces now he's so restricted yeah he's very restricted very passive move because it's behind the pawn but it's hard to see f6 looks like a very 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 scary move you know yeah I, it, it it does you, you you don't want to play moves like this you don't want to open things up for your opponent uh, <laughs> chat's got me it just goes against all principles <laughs> Chat's got me cracking up talking about <laughs> Frank for King of England. Can you imagine? God, the press conferences for the King would be sensational. This man really said, is it a pro or a con? I don't know the difference between a pro and a con. What? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my I days. really want to hear what he's saying right now. He's going all in. Frank is just really doing a speech right now. I, I want to hear that. Yeah, Frank, can, can, can we? going okay and ghastly timer is ticky talking down okay okay this could still be nice um he's okay boom boom does he know that he has less time than, than boom, ghastly boom. could go <laughs> yeah. there maybe okay that goes there that go okay boom 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 is he what just is drawing the legal move? moves of the knight? Nice you, you, you lunatic, make a move! <laughs> this man is just drawing the legal moves! <laughs> he wants to know where the knight can go to! Oh my god, he's got less, he's got, he's got like three minutes on the clock. Frank, you just, you just gotta go! I'm just gonna go there, though. I can't believe he's not there, you know. Could? Oh, I don't really want to go there. Oh, no. Listen, um, no, don't go there. Frank's parents are watching this, and they are probably stressed. Um, okay, I want to go... They are stressed. Can I go there? Yeah, I'm going to go there. We're just going to hit both knights. Oh, God. Um, oh, Knight God. All right. All right. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. It's a very tense off moment off. in this game. We're um, winning off of For the last, like, five moves, both players' accuracies have just consistently fallen uh because it's a very tense position now frank has to has to wreck it ralph the center he's just got to take the last two moves by white are considered big x's by the uh computer because they're considered misses like apparently this move was very very strong by white uh and the idea is essentially that you play this move you hit the bishop then you trade the queens and then the bishop slides in uh to to uh to the dms over here and uh that's uh yeah that's that's a very bad situation for the rook uh, nobody saw that, and Frank has taken on d4. And by the way, he he might do it again. He like the goofy oh. meme from Disney. I'll fucking do it again. C5. I mean, it, it it's it's on the way. And a two and a half minutes, four and a half for Gasly. This is crazy. No, this is absolutely crazy. I do think that he's going to want to go C5. I mean, what otherwise is the Rook doing on C8? I think he's going to want to push that pawn. But I am a little bit scared about that Queen being undefended on D7. I mean, before we could see, now the move already happened. But I think there were some tactics there before, right? The move before with taking on C5 and then <laughs> uh, maybe pushing. But C5 is played... You know what, Gotham, you were right. You were right. <laughs> I, I know my boy. I knew it. There is no logic behind this move, except I had one already, and I'm going to do it again. That is, that is literally why he played it. Oh Wait, my but goodness. can you take and then bring the rook? And then just win the piece? You, and, and a C5 is an atrocious move in like five different ways. Uh, <laughs> you you are 100% right. But this is Pog Champs, all right? The, the subtlety and, and another big X <gasps> given that's family feud style. One X, two X, three Xs. Oh my goodness, C4 now. But Frank just took one time, Anna. Is he going to take again? He might, he might take right here. I mean, I don't think he's pushing. Is he pushing the pot? Is he going C4? I don't think so. <laughs> can we like turn him up in this screen so we don't have to go like to him? Can, can we just quickly see what he's saying? I feel like he's going to be yelling about deja vu. It's something I've caught. I think it's called deja vu. I don't know what it is, but I've been here before. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> he took the pawn just like you predicted. <laughs> That goes there, and the bishop is, is going to come in. The bishop is coming in. Put, there, bring it in. Threat on a, um, okay, boom, to see it. that goes there. Rook takes there. I'll take there. Then my <sighs> bishop could... Okay, boom, we take there, right? Rook goes All right, there. let's mute I'll him real quick. And, and he's missed it. There. He's missed it. Oh my goodness. Let's. Oh. Uh, and, and I apologize for that. I, I know production is doing their best to keep up with me. Uh, but uh, Frank is, is uh, streams mostly on YouTube, so there is a bit of a lag. But uh, so he was talking just moments ago. Gasly has lost the thread of this game. 
mostly because it's very complicated, Anna. And now it's back to equal, but Frank has a minute and a half on the clock. The accuracy has been reduced from 80-70 to 55-54. What? What is, what is, what? What? Oh, what? oh, 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 he, he took the, why, why would he, okay. Oh God, is he gonna take this one too, just for no reason? Why is he giving up his everything. bishops? He's taking everything. And he always has to be, Bishop East Heaven is coming. Why, why is he just g killing off his bishops? They're, they're his best pieces. All his other pieces are in the back rank. He can't play Bishop Takes Knight. Wow! Just... Oh no! no! He's just going for the pawn. The pawn does nothing, Frank. The pawn knight too was completely innocent. Oh my goodness, Frank just goes to the- Oh, and Ghastly no, backs up! That is Gasly's fifth miss in the last eight moves. And, and now, instead of Bishop E7 winning on the spot for no reason at all, he backs up and, and Frank Frank is just back in the game. But he's got one wow. minute on the clock. He's got one minute on the clock. No! So what? What? Now he's allowing no! his bishop to get hit from the other no! side! Oh! <laughs> the bishop is back! Frank wants the bishop to be back! Oh my, what? What is this? Why is he weakening his dark squares? He doesn't have a dark square defender. Oh, it's on the board. And he does knight, to it. G, knight to g7, knight to d6, knight to f6, the dark squares. This is going to cost him the game, and I think it's over for Frank. With one move, he lost 12 points of accuracy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> knight f6, check, and then bring up the queen as well to h4. I mean, that pawn on h7 is going to be What's happening, Levy? That's one of the worst moves I've ever seen. What? Wait, wait was that a mouse slip? What? <laughs> he said mouse slip. He's, he said you're attacking my rook, so just take my knight and mate me? What? <laughs> what? I think, I think it's happening, Levy. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I know you had all... Yeah. I mean, I'm not rooting for anybody, but... Frankathan, knight to d7. Oh my god, but, but it, 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 Ooh, it's not e6 over. E6 check. It's not e6 over. check. Anna, Anna, it's not over. E6, F6. If you take with the knight, I might take your queen. That is the only chance he has left. E6 is a great move. It's the best move on the board. Discovered attack. Oh. Okay. okay. Bring the Maybe he's just going to trade and be a rook up, you know? Queen F8 and just be a rook up. Yep. 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 Queen F6. Oh, Ghastly's going to find something to F6 for sure. <gasps> queen F6 check. Queen takes, queen pawn takes, king goes down, and then back rank rookie eight back rank yep. check me take take rookie eight king's got to go out to h6 um the only chance ghastly has of throwing this is the way he threw once the daily dose that is the best move uh and and he did it by just hanging something from long range and and getting uh hit in the end game frank it, oh that's <gasps> it's a checkmate in one and it's wow. over and it's right over. there and it's over big moment let's go see it on ghastly's stream the instant replay not my best move, but I do take with a check. And I think that is Nate, my friends. Let's go! Boom, baby! Aha, aha! Frank, Frank, my friend, Frank, you're, you're a great opponent, man. I'm just a little bit better. Much love, <laughs> much love. <laughs> I, with the sunglasses, too! Oh my goodness, sunglasses on. That was one of the craziest middle games played by any two 800s in a while. And that's saying a lot because I see a lot of middle games played by 800s. One to nothing. Ghastly takes the lead. The winner of Group B going strong. I mean, listen, you emerge from the group of death. You really have a strong nervous system. And he was just better. His mistakes in this game, Anna, were missing wins. But he never really lost that much of his advantage. A couple of times it was plus one, but... He was in control for a long time. Yeah, no, he was absolutely in control for the whole time. Ghastly played really well. It was just missing that bishop e7 move. Um, but then he found bishop h6, so it didn't really matter that he missed it. And I think he played really well. And at the end, I think Frank got really nervous with his time as well. And, and everything started falling apart. But yeah, Ghastly, like we've said, he came from the st strongest group of the tournament, group B. Um, I mean, Levy, now you must agree after all of these wins. They did those of Internet is winning, Ghastly's winning. I mean, we're going to see the Group B just, just winning, I feel like. Um, and, and he's just playing really well. He's playing much better than his rating, and he's showing it here.
Yeah, I think uh, Sapnap will take down Sea Dog, and you know, uh, and Gasly's gonna win. Everybody from Group B is gonna win. No disrespect, Sea Dog. You know, friend of mine just just got to hype up Group B. Uh, what a match that was! Uh, Frank was back in it. Frank was actually playing quite well, but he got himself into trouble in the opening. Uh, however, look, I will say the following about probably seven. I, I want a stat. I don't know if the stats team watches Pog Champs or if they only watch the big tournaments. Well, this is a big tournament, but top level. Uh, well, this is top level chess, right? I mean, to some people. Anyway, uh, how many of these games are decided with the white pieces? Like, how many people win with white in Pog Champs? Because I think it's a huge amount. And, well, Frank is going to have white in this game, and anything can happen. Anything can happen. Now Frank needs to win, though, to stay in the tournament and take this to tie breaks. Yeah, that is exactly right. Um, we've got some feedback from an audience member says, don't commentate like these are high rated players. Just call the game. They're not going to see every move you do. Anna? Well, no, yeah. they're not going to yeah. see every move, but they're going to see some of the moves. And uh, yeah, they, they played better than we've thought. Yeah. So how about you just, we just don't talk about any of the moves. We just, we just talk about I, the weather, actually, Levy. Just yeah. the weather. How's the, weather, the weather in New York? It's, it's good. It's warm. You know, it's, it's nice. Uh, Frank doesn't remember his Vienna opening past the second move. Oh, no, he does. He was just being loud that I, uh, Bishop C4 is great. Now there is a line here where if black copies you, you can play queen to G4 Okay, that that now queen. If he plays queen g4, I'm logging off. Okay, <laughs> if Frank plays queen. Okay, thank you, Frank. Um, nice and solid. Yeah, now it's not even a Vienna. It's just a regular opening. But black kind of blocked in his bishop. Knight f6 is losing now for black um, because of knight to g5, and it's basically a fried liver. But there's a pawn here, and a knight here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, much slower. Ooh. Okay. Bishop e6. Bishop e6 is a, is a good attempt. If take, take, the knight can't get in. Uh, yeah, and you take some of the center too. I mean, it's a little bit scary maybe that the f pawn is gone, but sometimes you can have the idea of pushing that d pawn. Yep. Uh, we, uh, we, I've been informed that we would like to hear Frank's thoughts uh, on society and life and culture and art Locked and in. science and business. I know and... this man is locked straight in right now. Um, okay, I might go... Do I go there? Do I go there? I don't... Do I want to go there? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to trade. Okay, that's that's not too shabby. Boom, boom. Okay, we can go take center. He takes... Okay, boom, 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 boom. We take control. Okay, that's nice. That's nice right there. And now we're going to go there. Okay, then we'll go there. Okay. Good okay, position for safe. Frank. We're safe right here. This is great. Um, uh, I'm yeah, loving it. We're going to go boom. We go there. Next. Yeah, let's yeah, let's bring it back. Uh, it's mostly just a lot of there and there for now. Oh, uh, and uh, th this is this is an this is instructive because the person playing with black actually shouldn't trade this much in the center. They should trade once. Uh, but a lot of new players, they'll sort of trade everything. And the queen is extremely powerful because the only way to attack it without a knight is with pawns. And then you just weaken your light squares. Daily Dose did this earlier, uh, but he won anyway, uh, despite, okay, queen d1 is not, that's not a, why is, the queen could have gone to so many better squares. <laughs> the homecoming of the queen. <gasps> Bye, Frank. Well, at least the queen is safe there, but yeah, absolutely. I mean, the thing there is that the light squares would have gone very weak, and it would have been nice to see Frank trying to stop Ghastly from castling, because that's like the biggest issue. If that light square diagonal is open, it becomes harder to castle. But now yeah. I guess Ghastly will just develop nicely, knight f6, bishop e7, and then it'll just be castles, and it'll be a normal game from there. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, that uh, you, you are right, queen c4, queen b4 to pose some problems would have been nice. And, and and as a as a good player at this point already as a beginner, White should be thinking, oh, what are my next few moves? And, and and some of you might think castles, but some of the intermediate players in the chat will probably think develop my bishop out to these squares and long castle, because then I will get attacking chances. Uh, Frank didn't do that. Now taking this is still good for White because of the light squares. So if he goes back to d5 or out this way, he has good. Oh, that's a <gasps> what? What? Queen h5 is like 
almost a knockout punch. 95, queen h5. I mean, that king is not going to places. Oh, Frank. No. No. Oh. They're castled now. It, one last chance. Queen h5, knight d5. He's got to do it now or else this is happening. Oh, the queen of seven now. Yet yeah, this reminds me of Daily Dose's game, right? And he made it work, but barely. Oh, well, Frank, why would you go? Oh, he finds it. A move he late. He did it. A move late. Oh, he was a little bit too fast before with the castles. <sighs> Gastly's got to trade queens now. And, and you know what the craziest part after queen f7 is? The best move is still knight d5. Oh, yeah. Because there's a very cheeky fork. Knight takes f6. You win back a pawn and you, you get the queen. If Frank plays knight d5 after queen f7, I, I will build him a statue. But somehow I, I don't think... You don't think it's I, gonna happen? Yeah, let's check in on Frank. Um, he would do that, because then I can, if he moves king, I can just go there with knight, okie dokie. Ooh, ooh, okay. okay. He does see the idea though. Ooh, goodness me, goodness me. All right, I, he goes there with queen, I take, he's gonna take back with, with king. Then I go there, then maybe start something there, but that doesn't really do anything at all. Okay, okay, that, yeah, that doesn't do much at all. Okay. Oh, goodness me. Okay, let's just, let's get all those arrows. Let's get all those arrows off the table. Get them all off the, off the screen. Okie dokie. You know what? We're looking better on time right now. We are looking better on time. So we have got time to work through this game. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go. E7? Now, do I give a check there? Okay, this could be is good. This, this could be nice. This is, uh, am I missing something? It's going to be a checkmate. There. I mean, the king, king has to go to d8. If king yeah. e6, there's queen f5 no, is winning the queen. The king has to go to d8, but now there's knight takes f6. Knight takes f6. Checkmate on e8. Uh... What is happening here? Levy, are you seeing the same thing as I'm seeing? Yeah, I... Oh my goodness. But Frank has to finish it off. He's currently at 94% accuracy in this game. It's absolutely amazing. Knight takes f6. He's, he's going to see it. There's no way he doesn't see it. Knight takes f6. The king is running away, but the plan that Gasly had of going queenside castles is just not going to work. Knight takes f6. I mean, you can even go maybe f4 and you can just bring up the rook and bring everything up. Yeah, this is this is incredible stuff. Uh, queen e7 is the only move. And uh, excuse me, put, keeping the queen on the e file. Yeah, to prevent queen e8 checkmate. Exactly. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Very important right now. And Gastly's thinking. This is a much uh, faster-paced game uh, than than the last one. I'm so confused. This is absolutely crazy. It looked so normal in the opening. Everything looked so fine. But that move, pawn takes instead of queen takes, opening up the light square diagonal. Just, just it, this. This is the result of that, basically. So yeah, I'm actually very shocked. Queen e7. Um, Frank does find wow. that move very. Oh, sorry, Gasly does that does find that move very strong move. And now the knight has to retreat. So probably knight d5. The queen will have to move. And now I'm thinking that maybe f4 can be played there. Although it could get a little bit scary because the e pawn might hang. But I mean, this is just an amazing position. No matter what, Gasly's not castling, and that king is staying there in the middle forever. So it's a very, very, very bad long term position for Gasly. Yep, and, and knight d5 is a great way of handling it um because you don't need to win right now like you didn't have to play queen g6 uh the the light squares are permanently damaged black's king is stuck in the center and yeah that was just purely ghastly i don't know if they're not realizing uh that he could trade queens or the power of the, or the demand that he could trade the queens um or 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 what uh but um yeah, but I mean, I'm a... wondering now, will Queen G5 be played um, just to, like, trade those queens off the board? 
I feel like that's what he should try to do right now just because of how, look at that, and Ghastly does it. He's realizing that his king is very unsafe and that those queens need to be, get off the board. Now, the best move here is not to trade the queens. White is still better, but the quality of white's queen is, is, is such so menacing for black that you should absolutely not trade. You should come back, put your rooks in the center, play c4, c5, and then, uh, and, and then open up the king, and then knight to f6, and, and, and so on and so forth. Um, and I'm sure you taught him, I'm sure you taught Frank that you should never trade queens in, in winning attacking positions, right, Lavi? I, I probably, but you know, uh, you could also, you could use the argument here that I'm up material, so I should trade queens, right? Like I'm up a pawn, so I'm going to trade the queens. Uh, but, uh, but that's wrong. In this case, it supersedes that your queen is too strong. And by removing your queen from the board, winning an endgame up a pawn is a lot harder uh, than it is to checkmate a person with a queen and a knight and, you know, a bunch of activity. So in chess, there is some... <gasps> he takes it. Frank takes the queen. And the important thing right now is the fact that Frank cannot draw. He needs to win to stay in the tournament. If he draws, he loses the match and he's out of the tournament. So it's important now for Frank to win, which becomes harder with the queens off the table. Yeah, yeah, it becomes a lot harder. Uh, the game plan with no queen now for white is put as many pawns on light squares as possible to sort of negate the movement of black's army and then try to expand over here using your pawn majority and space advantage. Plug the hole on f5, just jump there, exert pressure. This bishop can't really come out. But the subtleties to win an endgame are significantly more difficult. And, and Frank's last name is not Carlson. So... <laughs> It's going to be a long way. It's going to be a long way to win that game. It is. And I mean, all of those plans, they, they, they feel very difficult for, you know, this level. I mean, it's, it's very difficult to know all of that. Um, so he's trying to get a rook involved. I don't know why he brought that rook all the way here, kind of blocking his F1 rook from moving. But I guess he just wants to go rook E3, bring the rook up, place it on G3, threaten that G5 pawn. And, but you know, it's very easily defendable. So I'm actually not really sure what the plan is, Levy. Me, me too, me too. Uh, but uh, let's let's uh, let, let, let's check in on the players. Maybe the players can guide us. Maybe the players can guide us a little bit. like he he's gonna play c6 he's gonna kick the knight out and like frank at this point needs to go where do i want my knight you know and, and frank frequently does good things but in one move bursts you know <laughs> and uh and ghastly's gonna be like well i want to reroute my knight to that square i want to play g4 so i could activate the bishop on the diagonal you know um that'd be really good g4 here would be well, I guess it also makes the pawn a little bit weaker, though, right? Yes, it does make the pawn weaker. It's true. It is true. Rook to d8. I wonder uh, if we're going to see rook f3, rook f7. But obviously now there's always rook d7. So even if the rook tries to come in there, I feel like Frank is the kind of guy that wants to put his rook on 7th. So I feel like he might try to do that, but there's not really any big threats with that. Ghastly can just always trade. Oh, <gasps> he's Frank doing see? it. Does Frank he's seeing see it, it Levy. Does Frank see knight e2, knight g3, knight f5? No way. I think is he, he does. Going, 
Is he going for a three-step reroute to the F5 square where his knight will live on an outpost that the opponent can't get rid of and exert pressure into the black position? Is that Oh, that is a great move, by the way, from Gasly. And the, one of the best options here for white is to just ignore it. Just leave it alone. But, okay, fine. Okay. All right, let's, 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 let's see what Frank is thinking. Right oh, time's against us once again. Time is not in our favor. <clears throat> oh, goodness me. That's a little bit of a cheeky cough right there. Okay. Cheeky what is little a cheeky cough. cough. Very cheeky little cough. Okay. <laughs> it's like a small cough. Like a... <clears throat> we are down by pretty much a full minute right here. Um... Oh, I should have double stacked the rooks. Uh, that's fine. Not really that fine, is it? Um, can't take there. Um... Okay, boom, I go there, maybe. Boom, I go... <coughs> oh, goodness me. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go there next. Then Is Frank I'm a bit sick, maybe? An attack there. That moves down there. Maybe. We'll there with that rook. Okay, we're looking to get rid of that bishop. Bishop can go there. Do I go there, maybe? No, I can't. I've got to go there. Um, oh, oh. Okay, okie dokie. Now we're gonna go boom. We'll go there next. All right, yep, we're gonna go there next. Okay, okay, yeah, we do go there, right? Yep, boom, we're gonna go there. Um, oh, I do see a tactic he could make right here. I might need to pull my. I might need what to is pull the tactic he sees? Right here. Okay, boom, okay, or I might need to go. Okay, that's. Groundbreaking stuff. By the way, he he discovered the light square blockade. That uh, uh, this is amazing. And, and black now is struggling, which is why in a lot of these end games, the bishop should try to be on the opposite color of the pawns, because we see the bishop is sort of stuck here, and it's just a, a pawn essentially. Um, best move for white: create a light squared structure, slowly advance with the king in the pawns. That I wouldn't have played that move, but the position is good enough that it's fine. And then maybe he will reroute there where he <gasps> will blockade. Yeah, I don't know. Is he going knight c1? That would be epic. I mean, we did see Frank looking at all the ways that knight can move before us. So I feel like he's really into the knight right now. Like, he really wants to move it around and get some good stuff with it. So he might be doing that. Yeah, knight here and all of this. The question is, what is Ghastly's plan right now? What is he trying to do? Is he going to try to double up his rooks on the age file? But that's very easily stoppable. I mean, I was thinking he doubles up the rooks and then tries to look towards h2. If h3, try to get g4 in somehow. But you can't because the rook is on e4, which is a fantastic square for Frank's rook. Uh, and Ghastly, okay, Ghastly plays rook to d7. That He could be doubling here. He could be doubling here. I like that he's not overcommitting anything. Will Frank play knight to c1, or is he going for pawn to c3? Uh, very delicate position. Frank is down a minute. Three minutes versus four. Soon Will getting into very lit category, Chas. Yeah, absolutely. And, and then after that, very quickly, it will be, uh, it will be bullet. So, knight c1! Knight c1 on the board, the backwards reroute to go to d3, Frank! Magnus Carlsen Woodley! Oh my goodness! This is incredible! What? Frank! You're right, Frank is a genius, Levy, what's going on here? Oh my goodness, knight to c1 to blockade and apply pressure. Knight to c1 might win him the game, just don't hang the rook. You could take this is a great move from Gasly trying to remove the blockade. Rookie one is nice. That's also good. Now, Frank could go here, but then e4 is an issue. Knight c5 is a fork. Rookie seven, and then I don't even know. Rookie one. Oh my goodness. White is winning, but anything can happen, Anna. Absolutely anything can happen. But can I just say, I, I'm really liking also how Ghastly is seeing Frank's ideas and he's just stopping them. Now when the rook is not an e4, like you said, those pawns are free to push. So the whole idea, Frank's idea of pushing back the knight to reroute it is not as good anymore. And I think this is now a much easier game for Ghastly to play over here. Yeah, it, it definitely is. Uh, and uh, Frank might have just forgotten that that was his idea at all. I mean, he might remember it because the bishop sees the knight, but I'll be very sad if Frank goes over here instead. Mm. Uh, Ghastly is playing super well for being a pawn down. 
But the reality is he is still down upon and he cannot make forward progress if White plays. He did it, Lavi. He forgot. He had too many thoughts in his head. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Like, again, if he brings his king and puts all plays on the light squares and, and does a good job, you know, uh, he, he might still he might still win the knight versus bishop endgame, but the bishop is better than the knight in the endgame. It's just faster. And with the rook, too. Typically, bishops and rooks work better with each other because they both are uh, long-range pieces, right? They can help each other out. Yep. Yep, two and a half minutes for Frank. Ghastly down to three. It's a super tense. You can't ask for a better matchup. Uh, B oh my god. Ghastly restricting wow. the movement of this knight. Good lord. Oh my goodness. Ghastly with B6. Is this a 2000 game we're witnessing, Levy? Maybe combined. But, uh, you know, that still gives them 200 points each, right? Like, uh, this is, yeah, okay. I, I, I hate that move. Because even yeah. though this trade is happening, the e-pawn becomes a passer. Yeah, yeah. And we saw in the other game with Daily Dose what those passers can do. They are strong, very strong. Yep. Oh, but but but, but Anna Frank's got two pawns of his own now. I mean, this I is know. this this is wild. But I'm just the black's pawns are closer, you know, to promoting. I hope Frank doesn't go here and get hit with a check and an infiltration. I mean, he's still doing fine, but King G2, Rook F7, Rook F1. And if you trade there, white is winning because the two pawns are massive in a knight versus bishop endgame. Rook F7, Rook F1. Very natural continuation. And then if Ghastly trades, he his, his losing chances increase by 10x. This is actually... And the question is if they know it, right? That's the question. But those pass pawns in a Rook less endgame are going to be amazing, those white pawns. I mean, I think we might be witnessing this, Levy. Rook off one, yeah. and I can see them trading. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, yeah. It doesn't look so scary, but that H pawn and that G pawn, those pawns are going to places. Yes, they are. Let's check in on Ghastly. Let's see how he's feeling. Does he know he's defending? Does he think he's, he's losing? What does he think? Amazing. He, that, me too. I agree. The music does the talking for him. I do like his music though. This is the kind of music I listen to when I play chess. Here, here, and here right now. If I come up to check, uh, he wants to trade. Good move by well, Frank. You know what? Yep. We take. Where my is right now. Oh, and he's <gasps> going for the trade, and he's if he. Doing Take it. Wow. He's played it. Let's bring it back to the analysis board. You are about to be in, in shock, my friends. When the move Rook F1 was played, Rook F7 was played, I told you it was equal. And after a Rook trade, it would be a tenfold advantage for White. And after just a few more moves, the position is officially plus five for Frank. Because trading a Rook in an endgame that leaves Knight and five versus Bishop and four is not what you should be doing. And also, these two pawns are lethal. These pawns are stopped by this army of pieces. And Frank is in good shape. He can take this and he can just go. Yeah. Now, this is now completely winning for Frank. I mean, he just needs to push the pawns. He doesn't need to do anything else. He just needs to push the pawns. Yep, Maybe the H one first, but... Yeah, Th this one was called a mistake. It was better to push the outer one because it's just further from the action. Uh, and uh, that now the bishop is completely sealed off. There he's going. And after king to e6, g6 or d5. It's better to play d5. Okay, he's pushing everything. Now he's got to push this because he, he's got to give everybody a chance. If he plays h5 or g6, I, there it is. Beautiful. And now when beautiful. this king goes here, there, there it is. And the king can't stop both, Anna. Wow. Wow. I mean, I feel like we should almost check out Frank to see if he really sees that he's winning this. I think he should. Yes, it looks like he's eating his camera or uh, microphone. Let's see. Okay, just keep on going. Just keep on going with the pawns. Um, okay, group them up, baby. Group them up. Um, okay, now we're going to push that pawn up there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come on. Come on. To heaven. To heaven with the pawns. To heaven, to heaven with the pawns. Come on. We can do this. Go on, you pawns. Go on. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Does he have neighbors? We've got this. We've got this. Okay. Oh, the okay. pawns have been stopped. that too. Okay. <laughs> that, there. We win a pawn. Okay, now I'm going to oh, push G6. that oh, pawn oh. up there. Oh, so okay. strong. Okay. There it goes. Okay. There it yes. goes. Oh, yes, yes. Come on. 
Yes! We've got this. Oh my goodness, Frank. Come on, baby. Oh my Come goodness. Come on, baby. Get me that queen. Pre-move it, Frank. Pre-move it, Frank. G8 queen, Frank. Put it on the board, baby. Afford to stalemate right here. Come on, give me that queen, baby. Give me that queen! Come on, we've got this. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll oh, there it is. Check as well. There it is. Queen. It can be several there. queens. Um, yep. King f3. Bring the king closer. It's just a king and queen mate. No, no checks needed. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's bring this back to the analysis board. He was moments away from a mate there. He could have mated. Oh god. Oh Anna, Anna. He keeps talking about not stalemating. He, he keeps talking about not stalemating. Oh, this is so scary. This is. This is. Um. Ah, he's not Did he take? Oh, he took, but he's gonna make another one. I mean, it's still fine. Okay. Come on, baby. Um, boom, then we're gonna oh my goodness, Frank, don't take his pawns. Frank, don't, don't take, take his pawns. You're pawns. Talking... Oh, okay, no, why the pawns, Frank? Oh, God, oh, God. He's gonna stalemate him if he takes his pawns. Oh, oh God, I can't watch. Oh, go for the B6 pawn. Oh, my God. B6 pawn is not hurting you. Frank, Frank don't, okay, don't take the pawn, checked. Frank. We can't afford to stalemate. Just not the pawn. Frank, don't take the pawn. Just don't take the pawn. Just don't take the pawn. Frank. Um, then we're gonna go there, give a check. Oh my Back god. Is he gonna take the pawn? There, if he takes the pawn, he's gonna stalemate him. There. Frank, don't take the pawn. Oh my god, this is nuts. He's dancing in between the king and the pawn. There, and the knight. Okay. It's made in two! Queen c4, queen a4! Queen c4, queen a4 is made in two! It's on the board, it's Frank! It's a checkmate! Right it's here! Oh! 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 Nice! Oh! Oh! baby! Oh! That's how it rolls! Frank, one to one with Gasly, and we have our first championship quarter final tiebreak. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen, because the deciding game will be a three minute game of chess with a five second bonus. This is wild stuff. Gasly has been there before, he was a double overtime participant uh, versus Sapnap and a single participant in the overtime versus virtual uh the person playing with the white pieces is determined by the person with the higher accuracy in the two matches which i'm not gonna lie anna is gonna be frank because that first game was utter nonsense and frank just scored 85 percent on game two which means that's bad news for ghastly he might be facing elimination after emerging from the group of death this is wild stuff oh my goodness this is incredible i mean I can't even stop smiling from that reaction from Frank. Like that, that was just absolutely incredible. So I, we're gonna get the game going very soon. Uh, I, I have just been told that despite Frank having a higher accuracy between the two matches, his accuracy versus Gasly was only 5% points higher. And in game number one, Gasly's accuracy was nearly 12 points higher, which means that on the average, Gasly is playing white. His average accuracy was 3 to 4% higher on average between the first two games. And that means that Gasly gets white. Even though Frank had the overall highest accuracy, it's the average of the two games. And Gasly was more accurate. Whoo! That is crazy. But this game that Frank played, I mean, this was beautiful. This end game, absolutely amazing. That's the way it's supposed to be played. All the pawns go boom, 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 going all the way to the other side, just like Frank was saying. And that was just incredible. Oh my goodness. It was incredible. But the good news is it doesn't matter who's white and black in the blitz. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Frank is an experienced blitz player. I see the chat yelling rigged. What do you, what do you, what do you mean? This isn't a football league. We, we don't even have referees. <laughs> it's just the cap score. I mean, what, it, it literally is a numeric quantitative analysis of a chess game there's no var all right you just y'all just mad all your football clubs never win a damn trophy anyway knight f3 knight c6 and here we go it's another spanish it's three minute chess frank has no time to blabber or he will lose on time no no he needs to keep his calms here and uh i mean he's nervous <laughs> and he needs to just have a clear path of thought that's gonna be important here <laughs> What is he thinking about? What is he doing? I don't I just... know. It's move three, Levy. It's move three. Oh my God! What? what he's got. What is he doing? It's thirty seconds spent. It's what is thirty seconds? Make he needs move. to just play. Just play. 
I just play whatever you want to play, Frank. Oh my god, what is he doing? He's just clicking the moves. Okie dokie. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh no, it's the bishop again. This one took him two minutes um, before Levy. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Oh. <coughs> He's making up openings? Oh, In the Blitz playoff of pot champs? <laughs> I think he is. <gasps> Sorry, but a little bit of creativity doesn't play hurt play anyone, play right? What is he doing? What did you, uh, why is he playing knight to d4? He's never played that in his life. Hey, boom, boom. What is he, okay, what? We're gonna go there, put <laughs> what? Bishop and a knight. He did that. It's a little bit then of creativity. Maybe this will put Gasly off. Yeah, yeah, it, pr it probably okay. will. This is called okay, the bird the defense, defense of the Rui Lopez. It is trash. It, it is not good at all, and I don't recommend it for beginners. It, it is not a move, but but Frank is completely fine on, on the live board. We'll pull it up. I, I don't want Frank here for the whole commentary for the whole Blitz game. Um, yeah, a knight to d4 is uh, is just not a thing. It's just not a thing. I mean, it, you know, because you could just take and then... But Frank is fine, Anna. He, he's fine, and he's, he's, he's playing all the right moves. B5, A5, and Frank is fine. That is crazy. I mean, he's just really going for those pawn storms again, right? Just like in the previous game, he saw his pawns pushing and winning. Now he's doing the exact same thing, b5, a5, and that bishop might even get trapped on b3. Yeah, and, and look at this d6, excellent stuff. Knight f6 and then castles. This is an excellent position for Frank. This is amazing. Are you sure he hasn't studied this? Are you sure this is not, he wasn't just trolling us and this is his secret prep? Hell no, he doesn't study anything. But what I will tell you is that he is a genius because Ghastly is going to go take, take, try to trade the bishop and probably hang bishop takes b2. All right, Frank is maintaining the tension. That is a sign of an advanced beginner. He's an early intermediate. He didn't just take at first availability. Instead, he's going to go here and take and then he's going to castle. This is crazy stuff. Oh my goodness. I don't think Gasly's taking though. I think the bishop is coming out to g5. I think he's going to develop and that he's not going to take or at least I'm uh, at least I'm at least I'm hoping so. But Frank's got this d6 pawn and e5 you can't push. I mean Frank what on earth Frank played the bird's defense of the Rui Lopez. Great great call by the way. H6 now is probably what I would play if I'm Frank, but I'm not Frank so god I have no idea what I would play. Um and then if the bishop goes here you could even play g5. I mean if you really want to get cheeky with it. Yeah, yeah, and we all know that Frank uh, does get cheeky with this move. So he goes castles instead, a little bit more of a safer, safer, safer move. And now I think that we're going to see Gasly just getting the knight out. Not, okay, no, oh. he does take the pawn, just like you said. And it's crucial that he doesn't blunder the pawn on b2. He needs to go something like knight c3 after this. Yeah, I don't know what Frank is thinking about. Now knight to c3, exactly. Gasly will definitely see this. So it'd be a really bad time to just play a completely... Okay, now Frank loves taking knights. Like, he loves it. But you know what would be a gangster move? Queen a5 hitting this, this, and that. Queen a5 would... If, if Frank plays queen a5, he wins pot champs. But, okay, I'll take b5. Also a great move. And he's going b4, yeah. and he's going to try to take this pawn. Oh, he's going for the pawn. He's going for the pawn. But there's knight a4. The pawn can't be saved. Yep. Although there will be a lot of very, very, very undefended pieces like that bishop on g5. So we will see a little bit. I do like Frank's position a lot. This is this is an am amazing opening. I mean, are you going to play this yourself, Levy? The bird's opening in the in the room of it. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll play it in my next game. I mean, I, I like to play a lot of different stuff like the Schliemann or the Janish. I've never played the bird because it's garbage. But, you know, it, it's not garbage in this game. Uh, and, and what is Ghastly analyzing? He only has two bishop moves. When you have two minutes on the clock in a blitz game, you cannot spend 25% of your time on a retreating move because you don't know which one is better. So we're going to look at Ghastly now, but I don't think we're going to get much. I think he's just laser focused. I think he's shocked by this opening. <laughs> he's never seen this before. Okay, the, the, he, he's not saying anything. Get, let, just get, 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 get it back. To, he retreated his bishop finally, but he did it with a minute and a half on the clock. We, cannot, we can't just have an energy drop like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not even... He is, both players are so nervous, Anna, too, because they, and they, they show it in different ways. Gasly shows it like an adult. He keeps everything inside, all right? He doesn't have a release, and Frank's just screaming the whole time. B4 on the board. You're really pushing for Ghastly's maturity, aren't you, Levy? But now the pawn on B2 is hanging. Now Frank can go, Bishop takes B2, and all his dreams will have come true. Yep. And I think that Ghastly's very upset. I don't think he's happy with this position whatsoever at all. Frank 
seems to have gotten the absolute best out of this opening. The bishop has to move, and he just has to not blunder anything whilst he's doing that. Yeah, and he goes back, but now f4 or d4 are trapping the bishop in the center of the board, but there is bishop h2, king h2, knight to g4. The best move wow. is to not take. It's to leave the bishop there. <laughs> is is Gasly going to find these moves? He's now down 40 seconds on the clock. This is his biggest time disadvantage of the entire day. Oh my god, he makes no. a move on the opposite side of the planet. <laughs> well, he's going for that c6 pawn, and he's going to have the same threats. But yeah, the, the bishop over there, this was not what the what the real plan was in this position. Yep, and now there is the a... bishop takes h2 now? Yes, 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 but Frank was more concerned with, with that. F4 has been played! F4! Wow! Wow, bishop d4, now you can take an e5, and it's Gasly who is winning! Takes an e5, and, and Frank is completely lost in that position! You will see it! I mean, that's the reason the bishop is on g5. Push the pawn, Gasly! Yep. Push it! Push it, two bishops, broken structure, rook b4, rook d4 on the board. e5 is, is gonna land Gasly in a completely... Okay, he's taking this. <laughs> Frank's gotta deal with this pin, he's gotta deal with this pin. This is a crucial pin right now, but there's just so many pawns hanging as well. Queen a5, only chance, queen a5, rook d4, queen c5, pinning the rook. Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's the queen, but bishop f6 is winning now. Bishop f6, will he see it right here, right now? Maybe he'll take the bishop and see the pin, but that would not be as good. He needs to take the knight here. Yes, you're right, he's down to 30 seconds. Oh my god, he's winning, but he's down to 30 oh, seconds on the so clock. Oh, so little time, he's so nervous, probably. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? 20 seconds. Oh, gosh. The, 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 we're about to see chaos. We're, they're both going to make so many mistakes right now. Queen to b3. Frank has a minute and five seconds. Bishop e2 doesn't even create a fork. Does he play h6? Does he play rook b8? What's he going to do? Oh, my goodness. One minute remaining for Frank and 24 seconds for Gasly. Bishop to e6 is a fantastic move. Very nice. The queen is hanging again. Gasly needs to move the queen. Queen b2. Very nice. We, Looking we gotta... at that pawn on d4, I mean, Frank's got to deal with the pin. Yep, and now they're they're going to start trading. They're going to start trading everything. Will Gasly find queen takes pawn? By the way, that would be uh, that would be completely ridiculous if he finds that with twenty seconds on the clock, and he's found it. Ah, he oh it. my god! Wow, he's not going for the trades. I thought he was going to do it because of his time that he got nervous and wanted to just trade everything off, but no. Yep, rook to d8 on the board. Bishop f6. Oh my god, is Gasly going to find queen takes f6 and I think f5? So. That's the reason he did it! Queen takes f6, is take on, the rook is coming in, rook f3, rook g3, f5, everything! Absolutely wow, I, everything! f5, I've, queen g5, f6! Yeah, I've been instructed that we're gonna go to Ghastly. He's not saying much, but... I guess we just commentate over him? I don't, I don't know. Queen g5, check! F5, F6, it's, it's what you said. Queen F6, Rook F3, Rook G3. We might be seeing some final moments here. This might be... Oh, he's trying to trade the bishops. Or, or, no, no, he's switching ADS. He's finding the better plan. Look at that, Levy! Oh my god. Wow. King H1. We go f6? Now, okay, he's giving a little space for the king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not getting back rank. Checkmated. Oh my gosh, so much has happened. Okay, so he played h4, which, whatever, Stockfish can can eat a frank. Uh, no, 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 uh, no, no pun intended. Rook to g8, uh, and then uh, queen f6 check. Oh my god, pawns are just falling off over here. Ghastly is winning because he's a pawn up, and black cannot defend his king successfully. Rook g7, and uh, there's queen h4. Oh my gosh, he can move the rook now, Anna. And he, there's no pin anymore. <gasps> rook to the g4. The pin is gone. <gasps> but e5, maybe. He can go e5. e5 here, maybe. e5, queen a8. Move. There's queen a8. Oh my goodness, queen a5. Frank could sneak it on the back right. Oh, this is so close. <gasps> oh, this is crazy. I don't know who's going to win anymore, Levy. I have no absolute clue of who's winning this game at this point in time. And... But, but but Frank now is is got to be thinking to, to get in there with the queen. Queen a5, queen to e1... I, but it does leave the pawn hanging on d6, you know? That's the scary part about it. So he goes queen g8 instead, looking at g2. Oh my god, that, that's terrifying. Uh, queen d6, but now rook g2, rook g2 oh! on the board! Rook g2 is, 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 is a monstrous threat! 
Now, what? Gastly's only moves are finding queen moves on this diagonal to cover rook to g1, because if he goes rook to f1, I think there's a win with queen g4, queen h3, maybe. No, but there's back rank problems. Never mind. I can't get ahead of myself. Maybe queen a8 or something in the future. I think he's going to go rook f1. Rook f1 looks like the very natural move here. But he has very little time, 20 seconds on the clock. He needs to stop the checkmate right here, right now. Otherwise, he's out of the tournament. Why, why, why is Rook F1 not being recommended? Wait, what? What? He loses his queen! What's he done? He loses the queen! Why? What? Why did he do that? Oh my goodness, but don't go Bishop G4 because after... Oh, that's a great move. And now that the only so chance weird. Gasly has... Ga Gasly can, can just mate him. Back rank. But if Frank makes a luff for the king, it is over. It is over, and Frank is going to move on. There are still ways to lose. There are still ways to lose. I can't exactly find them. I can't find... I'm looking for them, man. I'm looking for the ways I to think, throw this I game. I think it has to be the back ranks, maybe the oh. pins. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, that's... That, oh, that so might beautiful. Be, that might be it. The only chance he has now is to sneak in, but as long as Frank doesn't panic... Speaking of Frank, can we check in on him? I know there's a delay, but, but like, I just want to see his reaction. I, I, I just, oh, Queen G5 is, is vicious here. Oh, I don't know if we're going to go to Frank. We might so not, we, we might not need to. Okay, that. we're going to him. It's a little behind, you know, I can but how, how are his emotions? So Rook and Bishop, okay, now we're going to go there. We're going to get a nice little fork off. Okay, boom, we'll go there. He goes there. I can go there and get a delicious fork. Holy Okay, God. he's looking for a mate. Holy guacamole. Come on! We're so close. We're so close. Queen G4, he's got... Um, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a mate maybe. Um, oh yes. Oh, oh he's yes. wow. Who oh, wins yes. the rook? Oh yes. Okay. <gasps> oh, Spotted. Okay. Boom. We go there. What's he gonna do? Um. Um. Okay. Now we're gonna go there. Okay. Okay. Boom. We go there. Give a check. Then we're gonna go there. Give okay, a check. No threefold. No free. No threefold repetition, Frank. Um, Frank, you draw this game by threefold repetition. There. I will eat okay. my shirt. Don't even. Then we're Go. Don't threefold, Frank. Don't go for another check. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's... to get scared. It's gonna be an accident. Don't threefold. Oh god, he's got... he can't repeat the position. He can't repeat the position. This is completely insane. This is completely insane. Oh my god, he's gonna draw the game. He has enough time. He has over a minute now. Oh my god. He can think. He doesn't have to do this. Oh my god, Frank. Frank, don't make a draw. Frank, don't make a draw. Bishop. Oh, has he made threefold repetition yet? Oh my god, he's got a bush upon or something. Oh no. Come on, just move the bishop. Just don't move the queen. Oh my. Oh, it's made. Made it one. Bishop three. Bishop one. I don't know. Okay, that's what you do. Queen two is made. Queen two is made. Queen two is made. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Holy guacamole! Holy guacamole! Babe, oh, well played. Well played. Oh, I was run for my money right there. I was completely run for my money. Completely and utterly run for my money. Completely and utterly run for my money. Completely and utterly what run for my money and yet despite being thoroughly and completely run for his money Frank is our first semi-finalist In the championship bracket by winning two to one in a tiebreak blitz game versus Gasly. Oh my god, Anna <laughs> I am out of words, Levy. I was so sure Gasly was gonna win that. He played so well. I mean, wow this this is insane, but that comeback that Frank was able to do at the end was just absolutely insane. I mean, this is probably going to be pretty devastating for Gasly to see what advantage he had. But he played so well, and what an intense match we had, Lavi. Yeah, that was uh, that was absolutely sensational stuff. You really just and, and you are gutted for Gasly because he beat he was leading one to nothing. I mean, in this match, and uh, wow, what more to say? Uh, we are going to try to. Obviously, get an interview with Frank. Uh, I really hope Gastly joins us because he he's just a pleasure to talk to. And uh, what a match today! I mean, really, really, what a match it was. Just a quick uh, reminder at what the championship bracket now looks like. Frank is moving on to face the winner of XQC versus Papa Plata. What an arc! Six months ago, Frank did not exist on the internet, and he might get a game against the biggest streamer. 
I don't know. I mean, I, again, it's all relative. Like, you know, Kai, Kai, Kai gets a lot of viewers as well. But, you know, XQC, like, I'm a, I'm a Twitch OG. So for me, he's still, he's still, uh, he's still got them, in my opinion, I still call him the biggest streamer. But that would be absolutely nuts. Or Papa Plata, right? Obviously, or Papa Plata. But XQC is a big favorite in that matchup. So we will see. No disrespect whatsoever to the competition. Uh, we're going to go for a very short break. And we are about to interview both players. Pot Champs 5 will wrap up in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. International Master Danny Wrench back again, Chief Chess Officer, bringing you chess terminology. Let's dive right into one of one of everybody's favorite tactics, if I might be so bold, because it's surprising. It's something that never never fails to deliver shock value and excitement, whether you're watching a broadcast or just reviewing some famous chess games. And that is the process of an under promotion. When you move a pawn to the other side of the board, almost always you're looking to get a queen. But the rare times where it's better to get something else or perhaps even required in order to maybe not stalemate your opponent or keep your winning chances alive are some of the most fascinating, exciting moments in chess. So with that, let's dive into what under promotion is and show you some of my favorite examples. Under promotion, as we said, is the process of promoting a pawn, but not to the most obvious or most powerful type of piece, which is usually the queen. In this famous example between Nakamura and Vladimir Kromnik, the fact that Hikaru was winning is only because he under promotes on c8 to a knight. That move comes with check on the black king so that on the next turn, white can capture the e2 pawn. It should be noted that if Hikaru had queened, black would actually go on to win because now black queens with check and ultimately Kromnik would have been able to not just save but actually win this game. An under promotion tactic provided to me by our own Sam Copeland, vice president of content. One of his favorite examples is the move d7. And after bishop to e8, the only way to win the game is to under promote to a bishop. Under promoting to a bishop doesn't happen that often. In this particular study, it was designed to be so. The point is that if the bishop moves over to h5, we check and mate along the a4 e8 diagonal. And if the bishop moves anywhere else, white actually plays a subtle move, bishop of seven first, and there is no way to prevent checkmate on the next move. Shout out to everybody watching this video. Thank you for tuning in and enjoying our breakdown of under promotion, and we'll see you on chess.com.
Welcome back, everyone, to our final match of the day. As we see Frank with the walk-off punching of the air. The air had absolutely zero chance. And we are lucky enough to be joined by both Frank and Gasly. Gentlemen, thank you for a classic that was sensational to watch. Uh, I have nothing but respect to the two of you. I could sense, uh, Anna and I could sense the nerves in the last game and just the adrenaline. So I just want to start with Frank. Congratulations. How do you feel? Tell me, uh, tell me how the match was, uh, was in your eyes. Um, I was scared the entire time. I, d I was scared to make any moves on the board. I just, I didn't want to blunder. And I was, oh my God, it, it was scary. It was very, very scary. The entire match, but I won. So, I mean, great from Gasly. Absolutely superb. Yeah, Gasly, just same question to you. Uh, you know, you, you, you really never had any easy matches in this event. Like from Daily Dose to Virtual to Sapnap to now your first matchup in the championship bracket. Uh, I'm, I'm gutted yeah. for you because I, I know how crazy the journey was and I kind of wanted the Cinderella story to continue. Uh, <laughs> to take, take me through how the match was for you. Oh, sure. I mean, you know, coming out of the gate with the win, I was really, really excited and confident. And it felt, you know, like I, I was going to be able to handle the rest of the matches. But Frank, you've definitely done a lot of practice. He's gotten so much better. Um, even after analyzing his games, there's still so many things that he was doing differently and much more efficiently. So I'm really, really stoked on him for that. Um, and uh, overall, I mean, it was a really, really intense match. And I, I had a lot of fun. But like Frank said, I was fucking terrified too, man. It was... <laughs> Gasly, you've improved so much. You only started playing chess seven months ago and you've been playing some great chess in this tournament. I can even see some chess boards in your background. Do you think you're going to keep on playing chess after Pog Champs? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Frank, you think it's you'll, not something you that I'm doing some... just... Oh, sorry. No, go on, go on. Sorry. Oh, uh, I was just going to say, it's not something that I'm doing, you know, just for fun. I, I really love it. And I think it's something that I'll do for the rest of my life. And, uh, you know, it's, it's brought me a lot of, a lot of exciting things like th just being in this uh, tournament in general has been so fun. And by the way, Frank, um, I went three, I went three and zero on all my matches and I'm honored that it was you, the, the loudest person in chess to take me out. <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> oh well was, you were an incredibly a, difficult opponent incredibly respect. difficult respect yeah there was there was a lot of a lot of momentum coming up uh considering ghastly you emerged from the, the the group of death like there was no easy matchups in that group uh yeah. and uh yeah you won the first game right it was it, it was a it was a very 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 close one and I just want to say that uh, it's it's a beautiful thing that you learned chess seven months ago and like you're this motivated. And uh, if you're ever new in New York, uh, I'm more than happy to play you uh, in chess and help you continue that journey. So, um, yeah, it was uh, it was it was amazing to get an opportunity to uh, to commentate this. Um, and I, I mean, Frank. What's uh? Do you know you, you you got you got any plans for your next opponent? You're just gonna get some sleep. You're gonna do any practice? What's uh? You're playing the winner of XQC versus Papa Plata. Do, do, you know any of those guys? You watch any of those guys? What's the scouting report looking like? Um. Well, uh, I, I don't really watch either of them, but I'm gonna have to watch them now. Um. But yeah, I've only seen like one clip of xqc i i don't and i haven't seen any of papalette so i'm gonna have to do my homework that's what i'm gonna have to do that's beautiful just, just call him papalette that's his new name since you said it he is now papalette that's that's what we're gonna call oh. him now just don't um, don't call him papa i did that yesterday and that was terrible just don't do that that's the only one <laughs> um oh. Amazing, amazing. Uh, oh, Levy, I'll, I'll definitely, I'll definitely take you up on that, uh, that chess opportunity. I'd love to play a few games against you. I'm pretty sure I got a show in New York coming up, so I'll come out and, you know, I'll hit you up. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's beautiful. Um, I, I was just gonna ask you, uh, before, before we wrap up with you guys, I know you're not participating in the rest of the bracket, but who mm -hmm. do you predict is gonna be the champion of Pog Champs Five? As bittersweet as it might be. 
Hey, that's that's fine with me. I knew what I was getting into, and there was a chance I'd lose, and that's fine. I, I accepted the whole way. I had a really fun journey. What a fucking blast. But you know who it better be? It better be you, Frank. You better fucking take this dub, bro. If you don't, <laughs> oh, I'm going to come all the way to – I'm going to come across the pond. I will find you. I will find you. <laughs> you yeah, better you wait. just truck. be ghastly and then not win the whole thing. Oh, the pressure's on. I'm going to try win. I'll try with you, Ghastly. I'm going to promise. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to keep your, gonna keep your word on that. I'm going to keep your word on that. Oh, I'm going to put everything into it. I'm going to do 90% more effort this time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it for you, Ghastly. Right on, 100% do it for more effort. Too. Do, it, do it for the memes. Do it for the dubs. I will. Frank, Frank the pressure is on. Ghastly, I suppose the pressure is off. It's a bittersweet ending. But uh, well, that chess get, match I can get is, back to, is def- I can get back to writing now. So that's that's actually kind of nice. I've been putting mm-hmm. writing music off just to practice. Yeah. So now I can finish my album. <laughs> Ch- chess does have that effect. You stop doing everything and you instead do chess. And let me tell you, even as a person whose job it is, it, it, it's sometimes very... Uh, <laughs> it, it, uh, it's a, it's a tough, uh, tough space to operate in. So uh, wish you all the best uh, with the writing. Looking forward to the new music. And we will all collectively cheer on Frank because you can't just beat the winner of Group B and not win the whole thing. Gentlemen, I'm nope. gonna, we're going to let you go. Thank you so much both for joining us. All the best Absolutely. to you both. Thank you. And uh, we will hopefully see you very soon. All right. Cheers, everybody. Have a good one. Bye, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Bye. We see one more time. We're going to take a look at our brackets First, the Constellation. I know that neither of these players participated in this bracket, but we have Squeaks moving on today after a win over Fusli. Daily Dose of Internet moving on after a win over Jarvis. That was a very close match. Uh, and uh, we've also got... Oh, we've got... Amazing. We've got we've got Squeaks celebrating. And here's going to be the second one. Ready? Ready? It's going to be the exact same... Or, or did we not put back-to-back? Ah, just... Okay. <laughs> Is his cel- a thumbs up. Oh my, he's got to make that his chess.com profile photo. Or an emote. What an emote that would be. The thumbs up. Go and brush And that one too. Off. An animated one. Yup. Frank. Oh, that's that's it right there. That's that's Pog Rage right there. <laughs> In the webcam. Oh, he's not going to sleep tonight. Incredible stuff. And our championship bracket. The only man emerging thus far to the semifinals is Frank. And it just hit me. That if Frank wins his next matchup, I will meet that man in Los Angeles. That is crazy. Oh my goodness. Frank in person. I hope he's got a passport. <laughs> Imagine he doesn't have a passport or something. Oh my goodness. What a day. What Did a day. Did you ever think you were going to meet him, Levy, in person? Him playing chess in LA against the PogChamp finalist? I mean, will, that is like a dream come true. Will he scream in the venue? Oh my God, that's a great I love question. That. He's He's never played chess on a camera outside of his room. So are they going to allow him to scream? Will they just isolate him in a location live in Los Angeles to scream at the top of his lungs? I don't know. Are they going to make him be quiet? <laughs> It's almost worth the whole trip to LA just to watch that. I, wow, I don't know. I didn't even think of that. I did not realize that there was a whole live final. This is crazy stuff. What a development. I don't even... Wow, they're going to have to answer that question. Uh, we have more matches for you. Uh, not today. That, that, that's not a surprise. But we do have more matches on Monday. We'd like to give you the weekend off and also all of the streamers. Uh, we've got Papa Plata taking on XQC in the championship quarterfinals. That is going to be Group D versus Group C. And the winner of that match will play Frank. And we've also got Virtual versus Saikuno in the Consolation quarterfinals. We've seen that the winner of that matchup... Uh, we will take on, uh, I believe, Squeaks, if I am not mistaken. Then we've got Cutie Cinderella versus Ginny, and we will end the day with I Did a Thing, who is probably the second most jacked participant in this event, uh, and, and versus Tyler One. So that's going to be a whole lot of fun. Who do you have? Any any predictions? Oh, I, I, there's a fifth one. I forgot to wow! five match day. There's so many matches on Monday. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. I th- I forgot. Poor, poor Sea Dog and Sapnap. Finish. I thought it was a four match day. There's five matches. There are five matches. Sea Dog, the winner. Incredible day. Amazing day. I mean, my goodness. What a day That's that is going to be. That's going to be epic. Yeah. Well, I, I, honestly, I mean, 
Right now, I am actually rooting for Frank. This whole thing made me go full on. I'm going to root for Frank. But I do still think that Sea Dog is one of the favorites. But I don't know. Who's going to win Pog Champs? Who do you think, Levy? Prediction right here, right now. Who's the winner of Pog Champs 5? Sapnap. Sapnap is going to win Pog Champs 5. That man is going to clutch it versus Virtual. And he's going to clutch it versus Sea Dog. And he's going to clutch it versus Frank. And he's going to. He's going to win PogChamps 5. I'm calling it right now. The winner of that matchup, Sea Dog versus Sapnap, is the winner of PogChamps 5. What about you? What if XQC would win PogChamps 5? Imagine that. Imagine the story. He's played four PogChamps, and now he's coming back with the fifth one, and he wins the whole thing. He has been playing well. When he's really focused and concentrated, he's playing some great chess. I can see that happening, Lavi. I don't see it as impossible this year. I really don't. I really I, don't. I, it, it's not impossible. That's the incredible thing. I just yelled a sentence, and guess what? I don't even fully believe it. That's, that, that's not even my prediction. Watch this. Frank will win Pog Champs 5. Like, you don't know. That, like, I, I, I have no idea. But that's the amazing thing. We're going to have more match coverage for you on Monday. We're going to clear out all of the brackets into the semifinals. It's going to be five matchups, 10 players, and we will know who is in the Constellation semis and the Championship semis. This has been so much fun. We are about to wrap up the day, but first, we will tell you about some incredible Twitch drops. All right? We've got these incredible Twitch drops for you, and uh, they were actually going to tell me what to talk about them, but they wrote me about the Bullet Chess Championship. But I can tell you about that, too. You should join. I, I'm waiting for an update. <laughs> Don't miss your chance to cash it on just like I'm Twitch Drops. Earn two weeks of Diamond membership by watching two or more hours of chess with participating streamers on Twitch. You must connect your Twitch and chess.com accounts to claim the reward. Drops will only be available for a limited time, so don't miss it. Like they missed giving me the CTA. Use exclamation point drops in the chat to learn how. Wow, I have never been more terrified than when I have to talk about something and I don't have a script. That was scary. Anna, just Very be glad scary, that that Levy. was not you. Yeah. But you did great. You did fantastic, Levy. It was amazing. And great voice as well. You know, great voice read. That was great. Uh, yeah, this uh, the show was great. The games were great. Uh, it was a blast commentating. We will not have Pog Champs on the weekend, so you can leave the house, touch some grass. Uh, for legal reasons, we're not responsible if you are allergic to it and get an allergic reaction. Pog Champs 5 will resume on August the 7th. That's Anna Kramling. I'm Levy Rosman. We will see you on Monday. Get out of here. Bye. Oh, no, that's not what I told you to do. No, you don't. What the that's it. It's so simple. He says a mean and he's oh, done it. It's over. Oh, oh my goodness. Gosh. No, 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 no. I moved it to the wrong spot. Maybe he won't see it. He's the. Oh. Oh, oh, he's oh, God. But she's not going to move it because it's defended. Oh, she did it. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 baby. Dusting off his hands. Oh, he hung his rug! He mouthed him! Oh my god! He mouthed no, his rug! No! C2! Daily Dose is back to winning! Wow. He wins the game. <laughs> no! It's over! Boom, boom, boom. You lunatic, make a move! Oh.